<laughs> oh, man. We're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah. Too much going on, but you guys are having a lot of fun with the <laughs> the uh, Good Morning America segment they're doing yeah. right now, huh? There's some funny stuff going on there. Oh, Jesus, Jimmy. It's, uh, what, what's the product? I don't know. It's some kind of mop. Uh, yeah, yeah, one of those things you put in water and, and you can mop floors and clean pots and pans. And, you know, it uses oxygen to clean the blah, blah, blah. It's one of those things. <laughs> you can't even go into it. Yeah. It's, that was that was during commercials for the Pal Talk people only. Yeah, they enjoy that. Speaking of Pal Talk, Jesus. Wow is alive and well on Pal Talk today. Thank you, ladies. Ooh. Yeah. Just another reason to get Pal Talk. Uh, you get a little extra. There's a bittersweet thing going on here, though. It's on the uh, Apollo AC cam. Thank you for the tribute. I used to work for Apollo Air Conditioning uh, in New York. Uh, yeah. All right, girls, yeah, see? I see, I see girls what flashing at. all morning long. Very, very Wonderful. Nice. Very nice. Great. Jesus and then, all morning. And here then, comes the dude. And then, like, the camera goes back to beefcake guy. He's got his shirt off and he's sitting there. Dude, put your goddamn shirt on because the girl is what everyone wants to see. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's, it's, we want to see wants the girl. Flashing. There she goes. Beautiful. Very nice. But then you muck it all up by sitting there without your shirt on. No one wants to see you without your shirt on. Nobody. Very nice. There she goes again. Yeah. And the guy is like, he can't help himself. He, he, he's trying to get back into the frame. Yeah, he keeps turning the camera. He looks like my agent, Pete Papalardo. But he has an adorable Siamese kitten. <laughs> <laughs> Just saw that. All right. Chest. Pete is built like a 13-year-old Vietnamese girl in the chest area. <laughs> we got Louis C.K. joining the program, and we got to go right to the phone. We got Bill Donahue on the line. Uh, uh, we were talking about the Dakota Fanning movie this morning. I guess it's being yeah. shown in Sundance Hound finally. Dog. Yep. Hound Dog, where she gets raped. Yeah. Oh. There's a. They say it's one of the most disturbing scenes to uh, to watch. She's uh, 13 now, but she's 12 in the movie. Um, she gets raped in the movie. It's a very horrific uh, scene from what they're saying. Uh, very difficult to watch. Statutory rape or like? Uh, no, no. This is just violent. You know, no, no bones about it. This one is really bad. Uh, I don't think it's m presented or meant to be presented as something pleasant or nice or anything like that. <laughs> and I read this morning, uh, Bill Donahue, head of the Catholic League, was uh, trying to launch some kind of an investigation into whether any laws were broken. And he got child uh, pornography laws were broken. And we have Bill on the phone. All right, let's say hi to Bill. Bill Donahue from the Catholic League. Hello, How sir. Guys? How's everything? Hello, Bill. Very good. We're still working. <laughs> How uh... are <laughs> you? You're doing great. <laughs> yeah, look at us. You can uh, see Donald Trump. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Donald uh, had a... Uh, we're, we're still sorting that out to see. We, we like getting the facts first before we unload on, on people, Bill. Uh, we, I, I was a little surprised about your, your move here. This really doesn't have anything to do with um, the Catholic religion, and that's usually your forte. That's usually when you dive in and uh, and uh, defend the faith, as it were. Uh, but this movie has got you motivated. Well, it, it does, and, and, and also you're quite right about uh, what you just said. It, it's not normally within our orbit. And also, you're right, and most of the media today are wrong up on the Drudge Report and all over the world, saying that I've called for a boycott of the movie and asked for it to ban. I never asked for any of that stuff. I don't, I don't know where these reporters uh, get this information. What I've called for is a federal investigation to see whether the child pornography laws have been broken. Now, why did I do it, Dad? I don't want to skirt your question. Mm -hmm. We know there's been a problem in the Catholic Church, all right? right. And I'm so sick and tired. If we have a real interest in protecting kids and not just in getting priests, then it shouldn't matter whether it's coming out of Hollywood or a priest, an imam, a school teacher, a rabbi, uh, mm -hmm. whoever it is. And I don't like the double standard that we can celebrate. Oh, this is cute. It's artfully done, I'm told. It's a carefully choreographed child rape scene. Uh, look, if in fact child abuse is wrong, then simulated child sex rape, I think, is also wrong. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 when you kind of enter that world of art, though... Um, it, it's it's a very uh, tricky situation. Uh, if if done properly, if it's part of a story, uh, no matter how horrific it is, and someone wants to depict it on film, uh, why shouldn't that person have that right to depict well, that art on film? The right. That's why that's why I object to what what came out in the, in the the Guardian today in the UK saying I call for the movie to be banned. I never asked for it to be mm -hmm. banned. Now look, 
I, this, this is the way liberals think, okay? They think this is, this is cute, okay? You can have this. I don't think little... anybody, wait, 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 Bill. I don't think anyone's saying this is cute. Uh, all I've ever read about this whole thing is that it's a horrific thing to watch. I don't think it's a comedy. Well, if you, right? if you read Lou well. Luminick this morning in the New York Post, he, he tries to say it's, it's okay. If you listen to the, the chicks on uh, the view yesterday, they tried to say it was okay. Yeah. You know, you know what would bother these people, the what? Rosie O'Donnells of this world? Let's say the guy was trying to rape the little 12 year old with the black guy, and she would use the N word right. while, while she's getting raped. That would upset liberals, but not the rape scene. That's the way they think. All right. Well, I, I, just I do agree with that. He's kind of making that up, though. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that is kind of up. a long way around that whole thing. Yeah. Um, now, what what is the investigation? Investigation all about because I I would assume now I don't know and and neither do you uh, what was going on behind those cameras and how um, sensitive people were to this child's needs and and uh, protection uh, on the set. Uh, well, there's no question her mother was there, and, and of course we have the uh, teacher slash child social worker holding her hand. That's all very nice, but she's 12 years of age. What happens 30 years from now, or 20 years from now? She's a middle-aged woman, and she has some problems with this. There have been other women who have been in these, involved in these kind of situations. They've had problems, too. But look, my real interest in this was to create a national discussion. I have no mm -hmm. doubt that the people who are defending this would defend if a 12-year-old being penetrated two years from now. Hollywood's going to keep pushing the envelope. And quite frankly, when you're dealing with kids, it seems to me it should be hands off. I got to disagree, though. I, I don't think people would be defending real uh, child sex. Depicting something in a movie, not because it's sexy art, like Maplethorpe tries to pull off, but because it's an event that occurs. It's like depicting a murder. I mean, it, no mm -hmm. one thinks that a child murder is acceptable, but it is depicted in film. And, and I think that the term art, it not be, again, not to be confused with quote-unquote erotic art, which is made to titillate, but this is something that is an actual awful event that happened. And if it's, if it's handled properly behind the scenes and the kid is protected and there's nothing sexual behind the scenes, it's almost like doing a, a murder. What, what's wrong with it if it's done properly in real time, in, re in the real world? Well, you make a persuasive case, but here's my response, fellas. Uh, if you have an 18-year-old playing a 14-year-old, okay, I can deal with that. This girl's five mm -hmm. or six years off of a tricycle. She's 12 years of age and she's doing this. You know, there's a lot of sick men in our society who get a lot of strange ideas from the Internet. I'm not saying that the average guy seeing this movie is going to go out and rape somebody. Of course he's not. But somebody who's inclined to be disturbed, he sees this, he says, hey, it's not only on the Internet, this is my local neighborhood theater. I think it says the wrong message. I think they could have done this movie and got that same effect without exploiting a 12-year-old. Uh, and see, you're saying exploited like it, it is exploitation uh, before you really have all the facts. Uh, and, and, and from what you say, there are guys that can grab a, a, a catalog for children's clothing and go off on a, a tear outside their uh, yeah, house in their community. I spending the 10 bucks to see yeah. go to fanning movies so that they can go and then do what happened there. You know, yeah. It's interesting. You can't, you can't even talk about the subject of religion in a public school because the kids are considered to be, quote, impressionable. I get mm -hmm. that a million times over the kids are impressionable right. at that age well did she become less impressionable at the age of 12 when I, doing this I think I think also you you really have to take this as a case-by-case -case thing because this girl is definitely kind of very mature beyond her years um, as far as an actress and uh, it seems uh, uh, life in general she seems very intelligent uh, when you see her, um, I think also she got uh, paid very well for that rape. <laughs> got paid very well for it? for the rape. Yes. Well, I, uh, can I mention one other thing, fellas? That, that you know, at Sundance they also have this movie Zoo, where it's about a real life story of a guy from Seattle a couple of years right. ago. Right. He, he decided to have sex with a horse. Yes. And yep. He punctured his colon and the guy's dead. Now, mm -hmm. well, I want to ask, and nobody's talking about it, so let me bring it up. It's all I do what talk about. What happened to the horse? Whatever happened to the horse? <laughs> yeah, I want to know. Whatever happened to the horse? I mean, he put an ad out on a Craigslist. Nobody knows that the horse has actually killed a bunch of people with it. Well, well yeah. did the horse survive? And has Peter filed a lawsuit alleging that his animal rights have been violated? And because this horse was an Arabian stallion, I want to know, does this constitute a bias crime? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> wow. Look, wow. See, I, see, you're I like having that. fun with it. You're having fun with <laughs> deviant sex. There, there. You don't have a good sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. So? We, we've well, learned that about crazy. Bill Donahue. He has a sense of humor. <laughs> Apparently but so. I, I'd like to bring up by the way, my name's Louis C.K., and I had a show called Lucky Louie, and, and you, you issued a press, press release uh, saying a lot of negative things about my show. Uh, so I'm on the radio with you. I can't, uh, I can't not mention it. Um, I remember one thing you said. You, you made a list of things that were offensive to Catholics about Lucky Louie, 
And one of them was an episode we did where I wanted to help my wife have an orgasm before we had. We decided not to have another child until we were having good sex and she was having an orgasm. And you less listed that as something that's offensive to Catholics, which I hmm. don't. I don't understand because a married couple trying to make sure that their sex life is is healthy before moving on to a second child. How can you have a problem with that? Did I have a problem with that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Really? According to your press release, <laughs> the Reagan that's, defense, that's, I love it. It's yeah. offensive to Catholics. Bill, is there anybody that ever does the press releases that, that like you might just kind of glance over and go, all right, and then they, they kind of, uh, I mean, do you word everything accurately? Because what Louis is telling you is, is the truth. I mean, that really yep. did come out. Yep. Well, I mean, listen, I write all my own stuff, so I can't blame it on somebody else. Mm. Have, you, have you watched Lucky Louie? Uh, no, I haven't. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. That's odd because you wrote that thing. I, I, I quite frankly, I don't re I recall I did. Why don't you send it to me? Hmm. All right. Uh, well, you know, I'm you writing about Arabian horses and bias crimes. Mm. Yeah. Well, All right. Well, uh, is it probably in your archives on the site? Because it was up there. Yeah. You wrote it, and it was not nice. When was that? Liar. <laughs> over the summer. He's calling you a liar. <laughs> <laughs> well, when the show came out in, uh, in June. Yeah, June or July. Yeah, we're, we're trying to find the actual thing here, Bill, for you. So okay. Just Google it, Lucky Louie. In, in, in the meantime, how is the uh, call for some type of federal investigation going? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to bother with these people. My, my whole uh, purpose here really is to create a national discussion. Uh, would the average parent uh, let their 12-year-old be uh, involved in a child rape scene if it was carefully choreographed? I don't think so. I think if the child, they knew uh, that their child was mature enough and an actress and knew that, uh, th you know, this isn't her first role. I think she can understand the differences between being in a movie and a life event. You know what I mean? She may be able to, but how about some of the, dis uh, the disturbed men that are going to see this? Are well, we can't base our... I would see, the Bill, that's the biggest problem I have with everything in life that people complain about. We cannot base our entertainment and our lifestyle on the fact that a few people might have deviant behavior based on something they see or play a video game or something else. Why should the large percent, the majority, have to stop living their life and enjoying their life to uh, uh, because a few people might lose their mind if they see something. Well, listen, I'm raising moral objections. Again, I didn't call for a boycott, I didn't, which I could. It's a First Amendment right. Uh, I didn't call for it to be banned. I want to know that the child pornography laws, have they been broken? And they may have. I, I, don't you think there are people on set that, that really are, are there to take care of the children and make sure things don't, don't happen? There are things, for God's sake, when the animals are on the set, they ha yeah, make sure that uh, uh, the ASPCA is down there. When well, children are on the set, they have tutors, they have uh, social workers. Uh, all that stuff is, is taken care of, and there are laws in place to protect the children. See, I, I don't think, believe you. I, I want to know what happened to that horse. I think that Bill is. Horse. I think the real thing is that he's trolling for stuff that's out, and he goes, uh, "Oh, there's a rape of a girl. I could do something with that. That sounds good." Because no, uh, what, what I'm looking at is, is the hypocrisy in this country, which says that whoa, we, we have priests who molest kids, and that's awful. But Hollywood can celebrate it, make a buck off it. By okay, make it, so so think, priests uh, should be allowed to molest kids. Because Dakota Fanning was depicted being oh, raped in the story. Oh, I know. It's story. simulated. I That's think one, yeah, yeah one is a movie. You know, there's definitely a difference between simulated rape of an actress and actually, the actual rape of a boy in a That's church. That's the way the law reads. As a matter of fact, there was an amendment to the law just last year, the Adam Walsh uh, law by uh, Mike uh, Pence out of uh, Indiana, and simulated sex uh, using a child is, in, in mm -hmm. fact, illegal. Right, so it's just as bad. You're hey, right. No, hey, uh, Mr. Donahue, are... you're not off the hook. We found the press release about Lucky Louie. Okay, what does it say? It says that HBO's Lucky Louie is barbaric. Catholic League President Bill Donahue commented on last night's episode of the HBO program Lucky Louie. Blasphemy often tracks obscenity, and Lucky Louie has been obscene from the first episode, so we were due. <clears throat> and then you make a bunch of bullet points of things. That Here's a sample of the nine previous episodes, yeah. but you said about five minutes ago you've never seen Lucky Louie. Yeah. Well, you, well, the fact, you know, you know How does that work? Here. No, 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 because we have staff here look at this stuff. I can't sit, sit around and look at this stuff, but they give me the report. Now, are yeah, those so bullets inaccurate? Why don't you read them? But, yeah, so here's one. It says uh, Louis, the main character, is found, found blanking in the broom closet doing something oh. to himself. Which, well, yeah, I know now, and that's a, a Catholics don't believe in doing that. And, that's uh, kind of cute. Yeah, uh, Louis does not want to give his wife, does not want to get his wife pregnant until they figure out a way for her to have consistent orgasms. 
So, so what's wrong with that from a Catholic point of view? Hmm. Well, we we prefer them to be inconsistent. Now, look, you've got some of the bullets there that you you probably won't even want to read on the air about some of the. No, stuff well, but address this one because these are your words and you're making yeah. you're laughing. But I don't take anything you yeah, say no, about because, Dakota because, Fanning because, seriously because you don't take this seriously. Be, 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 because you, you couldn't even repeat on the air what I just said. What, what I just said there in taking out one of the, the statements. Right? We'd like to, but there are FCC regulations in place that are but way also, out of hand. This is one. It's your words. Louis does not want to get his wife pregnant until they figure out a way. For her to have consistent orgasms, that's something you found objectionable. Uh, made made you call my you know, show it, barbaric. So tell right, me what's bringing, barbaric bring, about I'm that. I'm bringing attention to something which is patently obscene. And if I have a snide remark and you can't get that kind of humor, I don't know what to do with it. Now, Bill, I, he's right, I, I don't understand I, that. Uh, yeah, he's trying to see. Louis wants your your reason why that's. Um, something the Catholic League would be interested in, uh, uh, well, would object to. Why is a guy and a, a husband and wife um, having a healthy sex life before they decide to get pregnant? W why is that, that a problem? Yep. Well, quite frankly, the media call me here all day long wanting to know, take, to give a moral, traditionalist view on a, on a particular subject. And so while my orbit is generally anti-Catholicism, yes, of course, we, we, we branch out into other areas when, when you deal with uh, some, something that's patently obscene. Are you, ju are you just... Zero answer. So you're pretty much just from the school of sex just for procreation? Well... Obviously, I'm not. I'm but not no, no, the no. The Catholic uh, Church's teachings on that. Not, not just for pleasure. So th we, that would we, be the we problem. Don't defend adultery. Is that what you mean? We don't. No, no, no. Of a marriage. It's inside a marriage. Inside of a marriage, two people having That's sex. That's the way it should be. Making a choice yeah. not to get pregnant until they they're having a healthy sex. That's that wrong. Would be, that, that would be in the best interest of all of every, and everybody in society. All right, right, that's what the episode was about. That's what they were doing. Yes, they were married. Uh, I think you're leaving out a few things, a few ellipses here. Aren't no, there? Bill, actually, no, we're not. some of those other bullets. I have a question for you too, Bill, because you just said that a lot of times your staff will make points, but then the context is lost. If you're going to mm. quote something and say it's obscene, you should see it in context because. Um, right here, there's one you put. A 16-year-old girl offers to perform oral on Louie. Now, you're correct. That did happen. But in the episode, it was about a rebellious teenager running away. And Louie not only didn't accept it, he told his wife that he was disturbed by it. And the wife talked to the teenager and worked it out and tried to help the girl go back home. So the episode was not about being titillating or being dirty. It was about something uncomfortable that happened. And Louie, the character Louie, goes to his wife and tells her. And we, we help reform the kid and send her back home. And send home. her home. It's like right. a Facts of Life episode. Yeah, yeah it was well, just like Facts of what Life. What you're, what you're, <laughs> here's the thing is that I, like, you say, like you say, you got your guys watch this stuff. You don't even watch it. They prepare a statement and you say, yeah, that sounds like that's us. And then you send it out, which but to me is... It depends, it's, no, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't put words in my mouth. It depends uh, on why the, the other people did. Yeah, they put <laughs> the words in your show. mouth. It depends on the show and what's going on. For example, we take the view every day and we have somebody watch it. And if, the, if Rosie goes off on Catholics again, then I, obviously I come in and take a look at that little part of it. Uh -oh. Yeah, because that's uh, that's going to get you more more press. I, I just think that you're a press hound. I don't think you really care about the stuff you say because you wrote this. You don't How remember do you know you... about motive? Now, now you're getting into motive. Well, because you didn't watch the show and you put out this statement calling it barbaric, which is very... <laughs> Very strong do you, do, you guys, uh, do, you guys, do you guys actually think that anybody who runs an advocacy organization, whether it's GLAD, ADL, now NAACP, mm -hmm. do you actually think that the CEO, I actually write all the news releases, do you actually think that Abe Foxman over at ADL sits around and watches TV about Jews being banned? If they write the press release, then they should no, watch they, it. They, you, you guys are living in another world. Yeah, but you wrote it, so you didn't watch the show, and then you wrote the release, which is dishonest. But, yeah, but you haven't found, you haven't found one thing there in that release that's inaccurate. Yes, yeah, yes. But in context, it's dishonest. If you quote something and you quote it selectively, it can be dishonest because you are quoting it out of context. So, uh, in, in the meaning, it's like if someone says, "I'm going to kill you" to their friend, and then you say that that was a murder threat, you're quoting them correctly, but the context you're using it in is dishonest. Right. So, well, it's, so context asked, does matter. Matter. Well, that's what the, that's what the, that's what the apologists for Dakota Fanning are saying. You have to look at the context. You do though. Well, right, you you but, but you do everything. That's it, what it, we're well, in it, it, the last temptation. Wait, I'm sorry. Sorry, is is uh, uh what was the movie with uh, uh the Christ recently that was, is the passion. passion of the Christ uh, a movie that advocates violence because there was violence whipping Christ or in the context of the crucifixion is that violence acceptable to show in a movie? 
Well, there's no question about it. It's acceptable. Well, then why it's is the con historical story? Right. So then why is the context there acceptable and not considered a violent or a gratuitously violent well, film? We really have to have all this discussion about uh, oral sure, if you're and everything bring else and these girls coming onto the guy, right? No, no, Bill, Bill. That's I, really important. I'm talking. Oh, so let's just say. Of course it is. Con of in course context. It's girls leave in their homes because they're confused and living in a violent place, and then offering oral sex to other men and and finding out that that was a mistake from a responsible adult is important. We and it's that. relevant. It's, it's it extremely relevant. relevant. And you don't know that because you didn't watch the show, and yet you uh, wrote this. I don't know what it was. Look, have you seen uh, Dakota Fatting yet? No, but that's, that's why I wouldn't comment on it. I wouldn't have my organization, if I well, had one, say anything well, about well, it until is, I saw is, it. Isn't that interesting? It was about a year ago. The, the, the media kept telling us, you don't have to see the depictions of Muhammad because we made up, we made up our, your minds for you. We think it's offensive. But because it's of me, nothing to do with what we're talking about. Bill, I because, agree with that. Let me, let me, let me give you one example. <laughs> if, you just, just imagine this. A, right. a, a white guy is mm. performing oral sex on a mm. statue of Martin Luther King Ooh, with an erection. Yeah. Now, do you have to actually see it in order to find out that it's Ugly? Uh, no, there's a, there's a well, depending on the context, that could be ah, very interesting. The context. Of oh, course, okay, the context. That, Bill, that, the context of that, by the way, is your bizarre imagination. Yeah, Bill, come on. That that up. <laughs> yeah, you you so go. <laughs> I love the guys who say, "What if some guy performed uh, yeah. on? What? How, how would you like that? I don't know. I'm What's glad, your problem? Why why you're you even explain, picturing that. Why don't you explain to African Americans what what the context? I'll give you. I'll give you a context. It never happened. I would absolutely give you a context of how that would go over. If it was on, if it was on an episode of the Dave Chappelle show when that was on, in some type of comedy sketch, sure. uh, it would be completely accepted by the black community. Oh, uh, I don't think so. I, I do. I, uh, yep. Well, well I don't not think by, not, not no, no. There would be certain people that would be outraged, but the majority. Uh, would find it hysterical. Oh, uh, I, Dave Chappelle, I, Dave Chappelle put out a lot of material that was, uh, very, uh, ra would have been racist yes. if it was the other way around. I think, I, I, I beg to differ. I think you're totally wrong on that. Blacks would be outraged and rightfully so. But even you made up the whole thing. made it, it up, never Bill. Happened. And there's nothing making you, a you, case you, on you, something you made up. You keep dancing around this whole question of context. We're not no, dancing. We're, not. Around, we're talking about things that actually have context, and you're dancing around them by creating false things that don't have context what? in reality. An analogy. What's that? I have to give you an analogy. But no, you don't ridiculous. have to. You can actually talk about the thing we're talking about. The first time we raised this just to get your reaction on your own words, your only reaction was, well, I don't know, because I didn't see it. Somebody else watched it and told me what was on it, and then yeah, I hooked this up. But you just read some of the bullets. It seems to me that that was sufficient. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, HBO's I, lucky to is barbaric. All they're saying is I think that they think you should at least watch the thing. All right, I don't want to take over your show with this, but I think this guy is full of baloney. Well, Louis, uh, he he knocked Lucky your show, Louis. and you had every every uh, right to uh, I know, to talk I to know him about our show. I'm glad we, we watch what you like, Louis, and I, I you got a very interesting uh, picture on life. I'll tell you that. But no, you 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 well, can't. The context discussion does well. matter, Bill, because <laughs> to bash something is barbaric when you took the complete opposite intention of the show, which was a well because a you didn't watch it. That's that's what's wrong with being the president of an organization and saying a, a very strong and out of context uh, a statement about it without having seen the show yourself. Well, it's I'm irresponsible. Really it, That's kind of disturbing it, that you haven't seen the show. And then nice you write the Lucky Louie likes uh, the child rape movie. That's what I like. Oh, see, so you're oh, just a, you're that's the next moron. statement. Mate, that's the next idiot. That's the next statement in the press yeah, release. An, Lucky you, you, Louis you're likes unable child to, rape. You're unable to discuss it. You can't defend your own words. Fanny, you're Fanny full of it. Flick, bark, worse than bite. Yes, what? there's a rape scene, and it goes on about there's no nudity, just seeing her underwear and whatnot. Oh, so what? You please, didn't see it. Please. No, you didn't see it. You don't watch the stuff my you comment God. about. Uh, what you a just, stretch. You just, you, you, you're totally uncredible. You're not, yeah, you're not yeah, interesting. You, you know, quite frankly, every movie that comes down the pike that, that slams the Catholic Church, you like. There's no question about it. No, and that's not also, true. No, that's not like, true. And you also like... You don't know uh, what I like. Well, I, I certainly do. I know you like this movie. He likes no, men, you don't. Bill. I didn't see the movie, you, you, you blockhead. You haven't seen it. <laughs> I didn't see it. I got, I'm not even interested in it. I'm not even talking about it. I'm talking about my show that you slammed and are unwilling to stand behind your slams because they came from not even watching the show. They came from being president of the Catholic League and wanting it. <laughs> attention. You just want attention. Well, I'll tell you, you certainly gave it to me, didn't you? Yeah, I did, because you pooed on my show, you think. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, Bill. Oh, also, by the way, Catholics are wrong about God. Let me just throw that in. <laughs> hey, it's the only true religion, my friend. You burn, in, you burn in hell. 
<laughs> I'm not. I'm going to have a ball there. <laughs> All right. All right, Bill. Uh, thanks for coming on the show, and uh, uh, we'll keep uh, we'll keep tabs on the news and see what uh, pops up about this whole thing. And I'll have to try and keep it in context. Yeah, let's keep it in context, yeah. Bill. And go All find right, that I'm horse. Learn something. Good. All right. Maybe go see the movie. Take it easy. All right. There he goes. Bill Donahue from the Catholic oh, League. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Uh, effing O. Wow. Louis just completely called him out on that, and there really wasn't an answer. That you see, the thing is, I would have been totally happy to debate him about it because yeah. there, look, every one of these points, from a religious standpoint, he might have a point on if it. I was really interested. And if in your hearing. name is on it, you had better be familiar with it. Totally right. interested in hearing his. If he had said, "Yeah, no, you shouldn't be giving your wife an orgasm," I'd like to hear the right. Catholic point of view on that. That's interesting, but he didn't. He just said, "I don't." Uh, I don't uh, watch stuff that I write about. And, uh... The 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 one line uh, uh, subject matter of the show that Jimmy pointed out was a perfect example yes, of you. context. How yeah. when it's written like that, it's out. Like this is a gratuitous scene with a young girl, impressionable, and sexual activity with an older man. And and meanwhile, the whole thing was about you, you know, getting upset by the whole situation. Yeah. And yep. taking care of it, and you know, yeah. oh, and, but they, but taken out of context. And then when when he came up with the context of his imagination, <laughs> it just blew the whole thing apart. He's what got a great it? imagination, oh, though. God. Wow, huh? Where did that come <laughs> from? How great is it that he goes? I don't, I never saw the show. I don't remember writing that. And then we got it right here in front that's of us. Exactly. I mean, no, it, that's what these guys do, though. If you give them something that's in reality, that yeah, they shouldn't have said. They come back with something that doesn't exist and say, "What about this?" I want to know how you get a what statue of that? Martin Luther King to, in that state. Yeah, and then, in the state of arousal. And then he <laughs> decides what other people would have thought of it. Yeah, right. like that's his only way to argue back. Yeah, well, I bet if I killed your mother, you would get all weird. Let's split. <laughs> <And you, laughs> well, I guess I would. I'm not sure. <laughs> in the right context. Yeah. Also, these, go ahead, Jimmy. Go. And these hilarious Lucky Louie episodes on DVD the 30th. Oh, That's right. The 30th nice plug. Of January. That's next right. week. Next we, uh, what? Tuesday. Let's sign a copy and send it to Bill Donahue. Yeah. Go ahead. He, he probably would uh, watch enjoy this. watching. Also, let's not forget that the great Louis C.K. called Bill yeah. Donahue from the Catholic League. A blockhead. A blockhead. <laughs> you, you, he was, he was stumbling over curse words, and he goes, "You, but well, blockhead." Because he wanted to make sure people heard that he, yes. you know, called him a name, so he's like searching for something oh. that would make sense Yo, on God. regular radio. <laughs> nice oh. little rascal's insult. You, you <laughs> wait to get over you, to XM. You, you blockhead. You can, dink. We, can we please call him from XM so I can try again? <laughs> Just to unload. It painful. It was like he moved the football when you were trying to kick it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got to take a break. All right, we'll do that. Louis C.K., yes, uh, Lucky Louie on DVD this coming Tuesday. <laughs> Is it Tuesday already? Wow. Yeah, this nice. coming Tuesday. Yep. Very exciting. Already for pre-sale on Amazon, you can already go try it. Oh, go to Amazon and then... Yeah. Watch and, it and burn in hell. And, pre and do yeah. some pre-sale. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Hi. I just got wowed. It was great. I'm not supposed to talk about it, though. I got to go now. <laughs> Introducing the Opie and Anthony Wow Line. If you get wowed, we want to hear about it. Call 866-WOW-ME-05. That's 866-WOW-ME-05. And tell us all about it. And if your message isn't too stupid, we might just play it on the air. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. virus is spreading. Opie and Anthony! Ah, Louis C.K. in studio on the Opie and Anthony Show. That was a lot of fun to listen to. You guys with uh, Bill Donahue from the Catholic League. Oh. Don't forget, Lucky Louie on DVD this coming Tuesday. And I got to mention yesterday, we, we, on next time we had Ricky Gervais do a great hour with us. We forgot to mention his website, rickygervais.com, from The Office, the British version of The Office. And, uh, you know, we had a wonderful time. With him. Man, was he a blast. How it sure was. Guys, hysterical. And uh, there, somebody, who is it? No Filter Paul sent me um, some uh, a website. That featured his band from 1983, and he looks like David Bowie with black hair. Yeah, you look at him now, and you know this guy from The Office. Yeah, and, and he looks like a girl. <laughs> He's like very feminine looking. Mm. He's pretty. <laughs> He's pretty. That's what my girlfriend said. You'd have she, to call him I go, pretty. I go, guess who this is? And she she couldn't. I go, that's Ricky Gervais. And, and she was like, oh, my God, he's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Tom. Tom, what's up? Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, hey. Tom. 
I hope Bill Donahue's uh, staff down there at the Catholic League has a good claw hammer to uh, detach his sack from the wall. You nailed it, Louie. Nicely done. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch it out, boys. Uh, poor, yeah, he was blindsided. It, it just came together. We were going to have Bill uh, Donahue on the show today. Lucky Louie was stopping in as well. I had no, uh, uh, Louis C.K. was stopping in. I had no idea that uh, he yeah, wrote all that gonna, stuff about you, so yeah. it worked out I perfect. love when that happens. I heard his name, and I was like, oh, that guy. Yeah, what yeah. A nice this, opportunity. This, I remember. Remember too, before you even, because Louis held up a sign that said, "This guy trashed our show," yeah, right. and uh, I remember before you even said that, I was like, "Boy, I think I remember him coming into conversation not yeah. liking Lucky Louis." Yeah, yeah, no, and uh, like I was saying, I, if he had uh, responded to the things he said and backed them up, I would have had a civil conversation with him. I wanted to yeah. find out why he said them and, and debate it. Because he has a right to those feelings. I was raised Catholic. Yeah. I mean, it's a religion. But he's just, oh, I didn't. I didn't watch it. Somebody watched it for me. There's a <laughs> and staff. by the way, what if somebody had oral sex with a with a um, with a Martin, Martin Luther like, King what? statue? And, Where did that come and from? And if Dakota Fanning can get raped, then we should be able to have sex with boys. Uh, <laughs> like it just, it made no <laughs> right. Sense. It was a wild and woolly conversation. <laughs> he must have had a hell of a youth with that imagination. <laughs> you, you know, alone at night in his bed. I he, know. Here's what the problem is. He's got some great scenarios. He. Uh, he he has a sense of humor. You can tell yeah, totally. to some point. But when when other people like staffers are writing stuff and he's signing off on it, he wields a lot of power. Mm -hmm. The guy is the guy. Believe me, that got us fired. Mm -hmm. It was the Catholic League's input to uh, Infinity Broadcasting that got us thrown off the air. Uh, regardless of if you agree that they, we should have been thrown off the air or not, I don't even want to get into that. Um, he's the guy that did it, though. Yep. It, he wields too much power to, just on a signature, be able to um, have people, you know, condemned. Well, and the thing about the Catholics is that my grandmother's Catholic, and uh, she'll anything that she's told to believe that has Catholic written on it, mm -hmm. she goes, "Oh, okay." There you because go. They're very, they're very devout people, and they're very loyal to their faith. They don't question anything. Yep. So if you put something out, they're going to believe it. So that, yeah, that makes him, you know, very... You know, I, I knew this family um, growing up that was strict Catholic, ridiculous Catholic, where they would, r the mother would read the newspaper, uh, the Catholic newspaper, f when we wanted to go out to the movies. They had uh, like a bevy of beautiful daughters in this house. So us as young guys, were like yeah. in our teens, we used to just pile over that house and try sure. to take the daughters out. So we'd go to the movies with them. And she would look through the Catholic Digest and check the rating for the movie, and some of them were condemned. It was like this movie condemned. Well, this movie and, is excommunicate. Wow. Yeah, we would have to pick a movie right. that was acceptable from that. Meanwhile, we never went to the movies. No. We would go and have just ridiculous <laughs> sex in parks and <laughs> schoolyards. And it didn't matter as long as the movie no, we said we were you, going to. I don't want you pretending to see this movie exactly. while you're having oral, oral with my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's exactly so Catholic. It. That's so beautifully it's Catholic. Typical. And of course she knows. Yeah. I mean, she's not in, she knows yeah. that you're doing that. Exactly. She just doesn't want it done while pretending to see the wrong I'm, movie. I'm pretending that you're going to this movie. Uh, everything, as long as the story lines up, you're seeing a nice movie that I won't even think about. And they used to go, hey, take, take our car, because they had the station wagon. I can't tell you how many of me, my friends, my brother, oh, all the sisters, God. just in, in these car, this car, their own car. It was like the, that 70s show. Type um, station wagon with the putt paneling. Just yeah, yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. Hey, uh, Fred's in the background here. I from hear Brooklyn. him giggling. Yeah, Fred, what's hey, up? Man. Hey guys, I adore you guys, man. Hey Louis, beautiful pie in the face, man. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what hypocrisy and what power he's been wielding for so long uh, with such limited information? Yeah. Hey, how many people has he uh, tried, probably destroyed careers and never even seen? Or, or heard what they put out. Yeah. Just had mm -hmm. man. Beautiful timing. Mm -hmm. Incredible. And you gotta love that he called him a blockhead. <laughs> That's my make favorite me laugh all day. of the day. He was searching, 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 yeah. and he oh. came up with oh. blockhead. Oh, Why funny? you blockhead? Uh, yeah. I ought to <laughs> make us. Glad you didn't. Glad you didn't threaten to give him a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> up your nose with a rubber hose. Yeah, there Still you go. You. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Unfortunately, we could 
We can oh. so do another hour, but we got to get out of here and get over to XM. Got to go over to Potty Mouth Central. Two more hours. <laughs> no blockhead over there. Remind us about John and Jeff. Those are great. Ah, yes. And how the station here in New York has decided to take our words and make it look like we're endorsing that program <laughs> Twist now. Twist them around. Oh, we'll get into that tomorrow. Yeah. Also, uh, oh, the kid that got kicked off the flight, the three-year-old. Bravo. That would have been a good one. Bravo to the flight uh, crew. I think we'll just go and do that over at XM. That's what yeah, we maybe. do. Hey, if you're not joining us over there, have have yourself a great day, all right? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, Louis C.K., Lucky Louie, on DVD. This January coming Tuesday. 30. You can buy it now on Amazon. Yeah, for pre order it, man. Yeah, very cool. Thanks, guys. Damn it. They are the most vile, despicable human beings in the country. Creeps. Ankle biter. Uh, obviously, the strength is their ability to turn uh, mistruth into something people would believe. Wow, how long is this guy going to continue to babble and say nothing? All day long. Shut up. All right, here we go. Ah! Welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. It's worse than I imagined. That's terrible. I'm sorry. We are a bunch of dopes. I think we're lewd. And we're probably pushing 20 arrests because of this radio show. Out of touch, corn balls, three retards. We have the effect of Tylenol PM. Opie. You know I could have been a model. Anthony. I'm gay. James Norton. I like yogurt. Robert Reed. <laughs> but enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. We gotta change the intro. <laughs> no, we don't. That <laughs> model thing. I know. It's, it's, I don't want to hear that line anymore. I remember when you said it, and it just like I don't know why it's the, the the beauty of it just hit me one day. I was thinking of it. It was just yeah. so fucking obnoxious. Oh. It's perfect. Do you know I could have been a model? Yeah. Oh, that has to stay. Yeah. That should be the whole intro. Just that line over and over again. Louis C.K. has joined us here over at XM. Hello. Lucky Louie on DVD this coming Tuesday. That's right. In the uh, intro to this version of the show, yeah, they, they, it's Opie, Anthony, Jim, and then there's a little snippet from the show. And someone was getting under my skin so bad one day, the, the best I could come up with was to scream as loud as I can with passion, do you know I could have been a model? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Did it's... you mean it? Was it a real feeling? <laughs> oh. It couldn't have been anything but. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> Despicable. And now we're finally breaking it down. It's been part of the intro for a long time. It's like, I'm such a douche. Like, I'm, I'm basically telling everyone how lucky they are to have me. <laughs> so awesome. it's, it's... The modeling world was calling, and I decided, no, I need to be a shock jock. <laughs> You're awesome. lucky bastards. Just... I might not uh... be here to entertain you. <laughs> right. Uh... It just struck me as funny one day. I'm like... Oh, it's awful. It was just such a moment of like just something that had to be said finally being said sure yeah well <laughs> hey uh, well. The, the dump report is very very funny today yeah let's uh get a little look see at that looks like uh old bill donahue's up a, a potty mouth potty mouth he got yeah. some dumps it's it's fun when you could uh read the dumps of the president of the catholic league 8 17 a.m a child being penetrated yeah mm. bill donahue from the catholic league had to talk about that one with um tom on the way down uh, and I was saying that would have been great to leave that because could you imagine if we got an FCC complaint based on that? Right. Yeah. And it would have been him. It yeah. Been... The press, what we would have had to say, yeah, we got a complaint. Um, the FCC wants to fine us $320,000 because of something that the Catholic League president <laughs> said on our show. How great would that And be? he you was talking the... about penetrating a, uh. a child. You should have, because then you would have gotten to put out a press release that says, we we ourselves were shocked. Shocked <laughs> by the language. Disgusting man, we'll never have him on again. Yeah. As we were adhering to FCC regulations, <laughs> uh, the Catholic League president blurted out, we do not condone no. the words of this disgusting no. individual. Our fault was... Think he should step down immediately. <laughs> Our fault was assuming that he'd behave... 
Yeah, oh we thought we'd God. give the dump guy a break. Like, that's the well, shit that you leave in. With the president of the Catholic League. The Catholic League. Oh, yeah. Who's going to complain? 8.13 oh, a.m., a guy performs oral sex on a Mar uh, Martin Luther King statue with an erection. Holy shit. Bill Donahue again. Nowhere. What the fuck was he thinking about? And, you, by the way, brilliant example by Anthony, because I was trying to think where would that be acceptable. Mm -hmm. And, and Donahue was wrong in that on Chappelle's show, on what context, say Chappelle was doing a funny a sketch about how well, white people always want to know what they can do to make black people happy right. for the way they treated us. Here's a start. Black people would not be enraged about that. A few might no. be, but the a majority few would be. Yeah. Like, like uh, uh, what, what movie was that? Barbershop? Some people got upset at the... Rosa Parks. They were talking about Rosa trashing. Parks. Yeah. Trashing her in the That's barbershop. Right. Uh, and it was only a few black people that got upset with it. Yeah, and also but by the most upset. part... They were they were loving it because they were paying money in droves going to see the movie. That's right. No, I was working with Cedric when that movie was made. He's the one that said the remarks. And most people, that's what black people are, are a lot of black people are tired of being told that they revere these figures. Right. And a lot right. of them are like, oh, those fuck, fuck yeah, those old shit. fucking niggers. I'm tired of them. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so, yeah. The f thing is that uh, Jesse Jackson doesn't get doesn't speak for even I don't even think that many black people. Yeah. So, no, no, so it's, it's but like, it's just funny that that's what he has nothing on his side. So he goes, well, what about that thing I just made up of uh, somebody that out. blowing Martin Luther King? Like, what's How do you around feel about that? I gotta well, jump in really fast because because Joey from Howard Beach has a great idea. Oh, okay, guys, you should put out a press release with uh, all of Bill Donahue's quotes taken out of context. <laughs> yeah, hey, <laughs> right? Uh, we didn't actually hear the show. All right, uh, but uh, <laughs> what he so said weird. was this. But, but yeah. here, and here is the audio. Martin Luther King. Well, I think blacks ought to be outraged by his uh, right. depiction of Martin Luther King. And here's the funny thing about, like, um, wow, did my thought just go <laughs> Dude, you're a goldfish. Oh, my thing. God. I really <laughs> are, but, no, I, I had a thought. And I, I was thinking about his idea, and, like, I'm uh, enjoying his idea you about the press release. Pretty. You know what? Wow. It's, Even if you it, weren't on the radio, that would have been retarded. Oh, yeah. It's okay, because you're in love. But yeah. I, I know what happens love. when you're in I, love. I love that you were looking at me, though, because I saw the whole process. I saw Sun Jimmy go, yeah, go uh, and then there was that s silence, and then he just kind of looked at me like, Oh my God! Oh, I, I have no recollection. <laughs> eyes went blank. It was um, like watching a guy die in a movie <laughs> just, yeah. with his eyes open. The Terminator! Like, You're terminated, fucker! And my eyes just went black. <laughs> I wanted to come over and slowly shut his eyelids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, so sad. Hey, we gotta get this in, Chris. Uh, come on, it's the truth. Chris in Pennsylvania. Chris, what's up? Hey. Uh... I just wanted to call and kiss Louis C.K.'s ass. The HBO <laughs> special was amazing, and uh, the comment about sitting on Jeff's ass while he masturbated. <laughs> oh, my, my God. Thanks, and man. I Okay, bye. I, uh, I was just telling Louie, I, w I watched it twice. It was I watched it when it first came on, and then I'm going through the channels, and you're about ten minutes in, and I just stopped and watched it again. Oh, it's, thanks, man. It's so fucking funny. Uh, you, you take on stuff. It's not like, you know, you could see a few comics and, and, you know, they might touch on some of the same stuff mm -hmm. or this, that. So original, so fucking oh, thanks, funny. Man. That time machine shit, I almost fucking pissed myself. Because <laughs> no one, like, everyone thinks of that stuff, but you gave it such a great, unique twist. Oh, thanks, like, man. Like, this dopey conversations, you yeah, know, what just, would you do if you had a time machine? Yep. And then you always got to chime in. Yeah. And it's always the other guy that wants to say what he'd do with it, so he's got to present it in the form of a question. Yeah. It's so fucking good, man. Such oh, a great thanks, take man. on it. I'd go back 30 minutes and punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, fantastic. He's got a different look, which is very refreshing. Yeah. Louis, Louis is a great... Uh, clarifier of points. Like this is what yep. like, I, I get lost in, a, in an emotion of something. Get lost in trying to remember a line you just had in your head. <laughs> you don't even know where you are. <laughs> but, but he's a great clarifier of points. Like yes, that's exactly. I, if yeah. I was not a dumb motherfucker. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> uh, let's go to DC. Thanks, what's up? Uh, what's up with DC today, Nico? Uh, what's going on, guys? Hey. Love the show. Listen every day. Hey, uh, I'd like to comment on Louis, Louis C.K. calling Bill Donahue not only a blockhead, but you missed the best quote. You called him a fucking dink. I did hear that, a dink. I called him a dink, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I grew up with that being a bad thing to call somebody. Yeah, not, it's not just like that. some kind of Asian you dink thing. No, yeah. it's like well, calling somebody a dink. dick. 
Yeah, it's a dick dork. Yeah. He is a kind dick. of thing. <clears throat> He's uh, also a faggot cunt. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're over here. Uh, XM. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> God bless XM. Fuck Rocky him. on Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, uh... <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey, I like the fact that Opie has a problem with the intro where he says he's a model, but o Anthony has no problem with the fact that he says I'm gay. Yeah, I kind of yell out, yeah. I'm gay. I don't know where that came from. I don't know, your subconscious? <laughs> I, yeah, well, perhaps. Well, someone reminded me why I said, you know, I could have been a model. There's some just twat saying how ugly we are and how she's oh, seen no. our pictures and this and that. Oh. And then you blurted out, I could have <laughs> been a model. model. Yeah. Well, you don't know how wrong you are, Missy. <laughs> Listen, lady. Look at me trying to defend a surprise for you. So it's, not ugly. It still sounds douchey. I could have been a model. It I'm, sounds worse because you're saying worse. not only am I not ugly, but I'm more be I'm beautiful enough that I could have made a living <laughs> on it. <laughs> <I'm a model. laughs> Look, man, I know it. I'm in Insane. That's awesome. I know it. We we do blurt out things or things mm. again. The context taken mm. out of context. Of they have clips of us saying stuff. You know, horrific. Oh, things. and then that cock in my mouth. Yeah. Now they have that. That's right. See? <laughs> but out of context, you know, I think if God met Bill Donahue, he'd shit right in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> in or out of context. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> it just makes me mad because of my grandma, my stupid Mexican and Catholic grandmother. <laughs> Who listens to <laughs> dorks like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody, they too much power, man. Yeah. Too much power. We were we were laughing on the walkover because uh, Jimmy was talking about kind of you weren't defending Not Bill Donahue, all. no, but you were kind of saying that it's uh, I don't know you 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 didn't give him enough credit for having as much power as he has. Well, he was saying well, he's, he's a funny problem. guy and he's a guy yeah. who would no. who will reverse himself. I think right, he'll reverse point, himself. Though. That's what you said. Yes. He'll reverse himself. And I, I said that's all well and fine, but he wields too much power. He he destroys lives and and livelihoods. And I brought up the point that Hitler would probably have been a pisser in a bar yeah. as the painter. You know, you get a few drinks in this guy, <laughs> yeah. and he'll go that's, off on the Jews. That's what yeah, that's what you were saying because that's what Hitler was. He was a beer hall yeah. nut. And people would get him drunk, and he'd stand up there and say, "That Jews," and they would all bang their mugs. Ah, and go, this, this guy's guy. fucking great. Listen to him. And then some guy that used to watch him at beer halls reads the paper. What the fuck? He's Chancellor? <laughs> what are you fuck? nuts? <laughs> he was fuck? funny. It was funny. He said, "Kill the Jews." It was awesome. We'd laugh our asses off, yeah. finish our beers, yeah. go home. Now this guy's running the show? <laughs> are you crazy? Yeah. yeah, and that's kind of the Bill Donahue thing. Is like yeah. It's fine when he's making jokes about horses fucking guys up the ass and killing fine. them. But then when he's putting out press day, uh, a release, a cross on it. getting people, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. The Davy and Goliath fucking logo yeah. at the end of the show on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I agree with you. You're right. But I'm saying like if you look at like whether it's Muslims or Jews, any religious guy like that uh -huh. is awful and pious. Yeah. yeah. At least with him. Anyone else running the Catholic League, you're going to get a guy who is religious and self-right. You can't avoid that. Stuff shirt. But at least with him, you do have the other angle where he will, he will come back and go, all right, look, I didn't see it. Like, you know what, though? If, that with if he had argued about the points, I would have had no... As a matter of fact, right. I prefer a guy who has those beliefs and puts out a statement and says, this is what our religion's position is on this, to a guy... I mean, imagine a Muslim guy like the guy who said, uh, whatever, somebody makes a fatwa on the Danish cartoonist, right, and you right. call him up and he goes, oh, I didn't see the guy. Cartoon. I just. Uh, what I don't really look at these things. I. Uh, I just signed off on his death warrant. <laughs> yes, that's all. It just was a. Uh, uh, you, I, you know, I don't think Bill Donahue reads. Uh, looks at his things. <laughs> yeah. uh, by think... the way, what if someone sucked off George Bush in a um, at a in an Easter parade? How would you like that? <laughs> you would have his head cut off. Yeah, I you? bet you guys would. You hypocrites. Um, <laughs> God damn, that is fucking funny. And Martin Luther King had an erection too. Yeah, the, it's just uh, it's just an amazing imagination from that I, guy. It came out of his head. He didn't even have to think about that one. He didn't have to go. Okay, let me come up with a horrific um, little scenario for you. Give me a minute. I gotta think. It was just. Let's say Martin Luther King's being sucked off by a white guy on the. Oh fuck! <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. You sure can come up with him, Bill. What a show today. Brian. Hello, Bill. <laughs> oh, we haven't asked this question in a while. Brian's. <laughs> Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. <laughs> Brian's a trucker. Brian, what are you hauling today? Uh, hauling insulation. Insulation. All right. Got to watch oh, that shit. Exciting. Makes you itch. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to unload it. I don't give a shit. Good. But uh, I want to tell Louie I loved his uh, comedy special. And yesterday, me and my wife were having an argument. 
and it completely changed when she told me to suck a bag of dick. <laughs> 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 we both just started laughing and after the end of it. Oh, I'm glad I was Thanks able to uh, help there. You're going to get the <laughs> DVD on Tuesday. What's that? You're going to get the DVD on Tuesday. I certainly am. It's already on pre-order. All right, run on, Thanks, Brian. man. That would have been a better story if he said she told me to suck a bag of dicks and I knocked her teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> Probably did. He just left that out. Yeah, yeah. 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 But then they fun. still laughed. Yeah. <laughs> I knocked her teeth out, then we laughed. Let's go to Florida. Chris, what's up? Hey, OP. Hey. Hey, Chris. hey uh, Anthony, you got that I'm um, gay uh, from your uh, friend out in California when you were describing him. When you went back, and he's like, oh, I'm gay. Gay Richard? No, nah, yeah. it's not Richard. Trust me. No, no, oh, I know. Yeah. So I, I blurted that out. I know it's not Richard. Richard has been dead a few years. Tragic. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy. Go ahead, man. Jimmy. It's not going to work. Yes, buddy. Yuck. Yuck. What? That's all I got to say. In what? love, little fool. I am in love. Oh, in love, little fool. <laughs> You're no. just a fool in love. Why? I can't help it. I mean, my, we get along very well. <clears throat> and last night, uh, she was over. I did a lot of this. I'm glad you're my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they do, do at the airport that is just nauseating and hysterical? At the same time. They'll, they'll walk down the center concourse mm -hmm. uh, while you, we're walking to the terminal and just... Like, look at each other, turn, and go, ha, 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 Just start laughing. Like, like oh. each other. Obnoxious couple. Obnoxious couple oh. laugh. <laughs> yeah. And they're doing it, <laughs> obviously, on purpose. They're yes. not discussing anything. They're just no. walking down laughing, and people are looking at despising them. Oh, no. Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> like I was saying, though, I, when it's a good-looking couple doing that, you just hate yeah. them. But they're a half a good looking couple because she's she's really yeah, cute, she's cute and nice and Jim is so lucky. It just makes me happy because you have friend look, Jim is a I think he's a handsome guy, but nice most slope. people don't. I mean by by America by America's standards, right. which I don't think are right, mm -hmm. uh he's not he's not doing so good. But he's got a great nice he's slope. the kind of friend you worry that he's gonna die alone someday. You know, like when you have a friend you're like, please somebody oh, someone hook up pick with up him this girl, please. This guy. Yeah, please. His looks are just taken out of context. They what are. What about you know what? Girls Fucking just find him so endearing, no, and they love they Jim. love Jimmy. Yeah, they love Jimmy. What about the and he's despicable? It's not what he's fucking saying. No, I don't understand it. It annoys me. I'll it's tell got you a what. charm to him. What about the hats, though? You forgot about the matching hats they had. Oh, coming back from West Palm. Oh Beach. God, the West Palm Beach hats. They went into the souvenir shop and got uh, <laughs> matching palm tree hats, and, and then walked oh. to the and they walked back to the seats, going ah ha ha ha. You can't God. even describe the colors of the hats. They were They're such so bright neon, God awful pink and a light purple. Was it a pink? Yeah, they were awful. They were awful. You're a horridly obnoxious couple. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's hysterical. Yeah, she really makes me laugh. Yeah. We have fun. Then I just, I say little things. Like, um, good night, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, Buffalo, what's yes. up? Hey, Amanda. Hey, what's going on? Hey. hey. I just want to tell you guys have the best show ever. You guys keep me company. Oh, really? During my long days of driving. <laughs> Thank you. Is it cold in Buffalo today? It is 31 degrees. 31's not cold for Buffalo. Um, it's actually yeah, pretty warm, I guess. Yeah. But I'm actually not in Buffalo. I'm actually just outside of Rochester right actually, now. Actually, what town? What's up? What town in Rochester area? Ah, uh, around the 90 at a service station. Okay. <laughs> well, what do you like? This, yeah. What do you like about the show, Amanda? <laughs> you guys, you're like laugh. <laughs> <laughs> they never. Oh my God. <laughs> you you you're batting one thousand. <laughs> You're batting a thousand with that, and it's been two years. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, <laughs> should we get, get into? It. Uh, it's quick, but should we do the American Idol? You watch uh, American Idol, Louie? or you? I haven't seen it this year, but I. Do you see. like the show? I, you seem like the type of guy you you couldn't be bothered by this crap. I like watching the um the the early rounds auditions. when they're goofing on the yeah. Retard. Yeah, it's once they're two different there, shows. Yeah. Once they're there, I couldn't. I really hate it. It's two different shows. <clears throat> it's the freak show 
make fun of retarded people yeah, first half great. of the show, which is great. Yeah. And then there's the talent show star search portion. Who cares? Where it's, yeah, people But when singing. it's uh, early, I like it because I love watching somebody just off the street actually sweating a little from being outside. Yeah. Totally convinced that they're awesome. Yeah. And sucking. And all the people also, it shows you that part of American culture where people are like, I got self respect and I know I'm somebody. Yeah. If you're not anybody, you shouldn't think you are. You should be, <laughs> you should say, I'm not anybody. Maybe I will be if I work hard. Yeah. If I really put, apply myself to something. But just people that automatically they, walk around with their shitty they lives. They already they're, think they're somebody. I'm somebody. They're special. Stars. Well, not yet. You could they, be. Because they convince yeah, people within their little circle that they're somebody. Yeah. So so now, of course, America's going to fall suit. Every yeah. year there's the, the guy or the girl, too, that is uh, just completely stinks, is thrown out. And on the way out, they're like, well, the show's going to suffer because I'm not on it. Like, you just, you just lost so many viewers, American Your Idol. Loss. And it's your loss because if I was on the show, the ratings would be, and it's the biggest right. ratings yeah. ever. And then you, year after year, they just keep going your up. Your loss, Taco and, Bell's game. Yeah, yeah. you're lucky you, to have you, me. You haven't seen the last of me. Let me yeah. tell you, no. I'm gonna go play. And then, and not then, one of those people have I seen no, doing anything. No, we have seen the last of you. <laughs> yeah, we did. And then the That's people, at, the people at Fox are like, oh wow, we could have had 37 million ten listeners instead. <laughs> we only have 37 million this week. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, this was the highlight, Sundance Head. Oh, yeah, that guy could sing. Holy shit, could this guy sing. Uh, last night wasn't about the freak show. They, they didn't have great freaks, really. Uh, they had a couple. They did a monte of uh, some freaks. S uh, Sundance Head has a very famous father named uh, Roy. Roy Head? Head. Head. No, Block, I think his Block? name is. He runs the Catholic League. <laughs> right. <laughs> Block. Head. Well, listen in. Listen to this guy. Right. Your name, sir, is Sundance Head. Uh, nowhere to go after that, is there? Okay, Sundance, you're having a lucky year, it says here. Yes, sir. Why is that? I got married to uh, my wife I've been with for seven years. Uh, Unlucky. I'm having a baby that's Unlucky. due Christmas Day. Not very good. And I made it to American Idol. All right, one out of three. <laughs> what are you going to sing? Uh, Story Monday by Bobby Blue Bland. Okay. Oh. Ready? You know the call. It's stormy Monday, babe. White guy. Lord, now today really? yeah. is just as bad. You know Wednesday is even worse. Oh, and Thursday is also sad. You know the year. to play Lord when Sunday rolls around Lord I get down on my knees and I pray Wow Holy shit Yeah right? It's unbelievable That fucking wow. guy is going to go far in this contest, man. With a nice and also after yeah. being shit on by Out of Bullets Simon. Yeah, so I know. Out for of no bullets. reason. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Fuck you, and also. Unlucky. Yeah, yeah. Basically, <laughs> I just, just got married. Uh, you suck. Yeah, you watch the cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I had a child. <laughs> Fucking retard. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and sing now. <laughs> yeah, now <I'm> sing. <laughs> what you didn't hear in that Felt clip, he talks about his father, Roy Head, who had a, a number one hit with Treat Her Right. Yeah. And, oh, wow. And his uh, father absolutely hates the Beatles because he was not off the charts by a little song called Yesterday. A little wow. song a little called Yesterday. Just fucked up Roy Head's <laughs> career. And now this is his son. And this is what the judges had to say. You, you know what? Wait, but before you do that, yeah. uh, I, I knew a guy uh, it fucked up Roy Head's career. No, it didn't. There was this guy we knew. Um, he was in a doo-wop band. Uh, he used to frequent a bar. My mother tended at a bar uh, out in Comac. And he would always talk about how the Beatles fucked him up, fucked his career up. He would have been huge. Sure. Like, do up, do up, do up, <laughs> do up, do up. up do. Yeah, that was going to go forever. Never going to end. No one was going to change that. You know, the Beatles came along and Ugh. like that music all of a sudden was your fucking <laughs> parents' music. And the Beatles was the new shit yeah. that the kids listened to. Right. But 
If also, it wasn't for the Beatles, yeah. today, very to this day, 2007, brand new song. Let's listen to it. Also, like the like also the Rolling Stones and the Who. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. they were all Yard bands birds. that just <laughs> came out. The British Invasion. It was called an invasion, not yeah. just four guys. Yeah. It was an invasion. We got the Roy Head song from back in the day. Treat Roy right. Squeeze a real job. Right, enough of Roy yeah. Head. But that's so that's Sorry. so different than what the Beatles were doing. This it's like right. a fifties to the sixties. Yeah, yeah. Like, that would have been dead anyway. That's funny. Thirty yeah. years later, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Gonna, yeah, of that course not. Music was never gonna die. Well, this is what the judges had to say about Sundance Head. Powerful voice. Didn't expect it. We in Memphis. And you come and sing in a blues song and blew it out. Man, you sounded great, dude. Amazing. Thank you. Probably one of the best voices we've heard on the audition tour this, this yeah, year. I, Thank I, you. I agree. In every way. Yay. Randy, yes Sorry or no? For shitting 100 on million you. percent yes. This boy's the bomb. Great audition, great voice, yes. I'm going to be amazed if you don't make the final. Yeah. I thought it was terrific. Well done. Welcome to Hollywood, baby. Welcome to Hollywood, Sundance Head. <laughs> Wow. Well, that guy can say. He just blew Taylor out the park. Dude, I'm saying a circle. Blew Taylor apart? Yeah, he, he Taylor Hicks said this guy is so much better than Taylor Hicks, who won last year as American mm. Idol. Yeah, because it's like that, <laughs> that genre, trying to be like soulful and yeah. stuff, and uh, that was Taylor Hicks' whole like M.O. when right, he went right. up on the stage. And this guy just got out there and just completely chewed him apart. He's a big guy. You know, he's uh, he's fat. Is he? Um, not like that type of disgusting, big, huge gut fat belly, but he's like a one of those big wide guys, man. wide. Kind of like how uh, Steve used to look back yeah. in the day, kind of yeah. gay. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, yeah, he's got like some wacky big beard thing going on. Mm. It's oh, just like where on the beard the, has a just the chin, yeah. and That's, it comes down, yeah, and then the edges come down a little further. Yeah, he does, thing he, going he didn't on. really commit to a, a full goatee or just the, the, the little chin thing. Yeah, it's, it's the, the chin between. thing, and kind of goes down, but he's, you know, looking like a soul guy. The other one worth playing from last night, then we could obviously move on to some uh, more exciting things. This Melinda girl, the backup oh, singer. Oh, right, the, the backup singer. This uh, girl's been singing backup for some very famous artists all her life. And uh, this woman, this girl Melinda, is scared of her own shout uh, shadows. Yeah. Me. She comes in. She's got her hands in front of her. She's got her head down. And uh, she walks up to the mic and just belts it out. But, but she's scared shitless up there. Yeah, I like what. That's one reason I like to watch the show, too, is people... Yeah, it's like real people, you Actually know. Actually getting to be on, you know, the, right. taking a shot. And when a waitress takes a break from her job. <laughs> yeah, goes <laughs> down there. down there and sings and they and give her a shot. That's awesome. 35 million that. people are going to see you. Yeah. Here you go right. and go. Exactly. And people complain about the contracts they get, but in fairness, they really are taking you from nowhere and yep. making you a household You're name. You're plucking these people. I mean, from nowhere. Look, look at that. Not even a winner of American Idol is now an Oscar nominee. Just out of nowhere. Yeah. Where would this chick be? Where the exactly. fuck would she have been? She came in like fuck it. Where did she come in? She'd be a singing waitress somewhere. Would, she wasn't even second. She was like fifth yeah. or something. She'd be fucking eating asses off Craigslist and humming <laughs> tunes. <laughs> I'm going to be somebody somewhere. Yeah, whatever. Shut up. Uh, so here's, to, uh, here's Melinda. Scared of her own shadow, nervous, can't even look at the judges, looking down, sweaty palms, just like all like crunched up. Yeah. Like this, with her shoulders tense. way up, and this is what came out of her. So you're Melinda Doolittle. I am. Doolittle. And what do you do? I sing Little. background vocals for Whoa. different artists, session work, and then I travel quite a bit. About do you nine hate out of the every year. single person you're singing backing vocals for? <laughs> I don't. Do no, you truthfully. Know okay, truthfully. Do you think, fall off the stage, break your leg, and I'll take your place? Because he hates oh, everybody that for he me, works it's with. it's fun, and I've always kind of mm. loved being in the background. It's my comfort zone, so that's been the, my okay. fun little place, and I can be there, and they can do their thing. So and what's changed? I just, I know that for me, I need to get over the fear of standing in front of people myself. Okay, what you singing? Uh, for Once in My Life, Stevie Wonder. I love that song. Okay. You do? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? I love Stevie, too. <laughs> for once in my life, I won't let sorrow hurt me, not like it's hurt me before. For once I have someone I know won't desert me, 
I'm not alone anymore. For once I can say, this is mine, you can't take it. As long as I know I have love, I can make it. For once in my life, I got someone who needs me. Jesus. Yeah. She's not white. No. 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 She's not no. white. No, only the whip can get a sound like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Years of whipping. Uh, a nasty boat ride, you sound like that. <laughs> no milk-fed whitey's going to bother to sing that well. No. Nope. <laughs> we don't have to. Uh, Lucky uh, Louie on DVD coming this oh, Tuesday. Man. Oh, God damn. That is fucking great. <laughs> Every time she, you uh, kill for us, we'll give you a nice plug. <laughs> <laughs> so then uh, she sang that and then went right back into her shell all shy, looking back down at the floor. Mm -hmm. Wow. What do you think, Paula? You're good. You're really good. Thank you. You've <laughs> got to believe you. No, I you're am. Okay. My hands are shaking, but thank you. You look scared good. to death, I'm man. Trying. I'm good. <laughs> Randy? I always have this thing about if you're a background singer for a long time, I don't know if you can really come up front and be that solo singer because you know most of the solo lead singers have that kind of Simon Cowell thing <laughs> you know they only think about themselves okay <laughs> yeah Simon wouldn't you agree uh, Melinda <laughs> we have a lot of people who come in here with a lot of attitude a lot of confidence and they're not very good you walk in with no confidence no attitude and yet you are a brilliant singer yeah a brilliant singer Thank you. Seriously. Thank look you. at that look on your face. I, 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 but you know, you are Thank you. Thank what it's all about. A great voice. I am concerned about the lack of confidence, about the fact that you've been in the background. But let me tell you, you are in the top 2% of good singers this year. That's true. One million percent yes. Paula? A million percent. I think you're brilliant. Yes. I think you're sensational. One of the best auditions ever, vocally. I agree. Welcome to Hollywood! Yeah. Do they ever disagree? The judges occasionally oh, yeah. disagree. But does Simon ever say yes and the others say no? I've never seen him say yes to them saying no. Uh, wow, yeah. that is very rare. No, That's the, true. It hardly ever happens. There was one that they put through. It was uh, Randy that said no, and the other two said yes. Well, they can't be that, right? It's the, as long as two out of the three. As long as the white says yes. <laughs> <laughs> People say uh, it still do well. Here in the train wrecks is much better, but there weren't many train wrecks yet. Nah, no. Nah. Nothing like the like uh, the Bush baby kid and the, and and the, the fat, uh, retarded, fat kid. retarded gentleman and the rest of them. All right, we're gonna step aside. Get in. We're gonna get into some spanking after the break. What? Ooh. Who's uh? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Who's spanking? Who? Louis got kids. We'll get his uh, thoughts Ooh. on this. Oh, that type of real and like legitimate spanking kids spanking. spanking. And something we could all With relate to: women. a screaming kid on a plane. That's a great story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll get into ne uh, next as well. Uh, Lucky Louis. Tuesday. January 30th. Tuesday on DVD. Pre-order now. It's Opie and Anthony. Whether you like a little ditty, medium or enormous, courtesy of Opie and Anthony and little Jimmy Norton. Get your free wrap, pick it, no reason to go and buy it. Even see some fun bags and help spread the virus. Send a self-addressed letter with a picture of your mom. Or click the wow link at opieandanthony.com. Send it in now if you want to get wowed. Watch the ladies whip them out and jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Opie and Anthony show. Louis C.K. in studio, killing once again today. Oh, okay. Got to say hi to Jason in Arizona. Jason, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Hey. Hey. Um, I've got a uh, rip-off alert for you guys. A rip-off alert. Is it about that new yeah. show? On, that new show on Showtime, Lucky Larry. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this uh, morning uh, hack show in Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, it's called Holgram's Morning Sickness. And uh, they're uh, wait, wait what's it called? Holgram's Morning Sickness. Holgram's Morning Sickness. I, I don't know sick. the characters' names. Yeah, they are sick. But they're betting on the Super Bowl, and one of his posse, if he uh, loses the bet, has to do the baby bird. 
Oh, really? And, uh, yeah, what piqued my interest was uh, Ralphie May is in concert down there this weekend. He phoned into the uh, radio show and in he's all on the attack. It's like he's Pavarotti. <laughs> he's going to be out there. Ralphie May in concert. <laughs> What did you say? I thought he was your guy's. I thought he was your guy's boy. He was. He was. Uh, he's in on the bet somehow. Um, I only caught a little bit of it. Well, Ralphie. Did, and I'll only say this: he might not be. He wasn't around when Baby Bird happened, so maybe yeah. he hasn't been informed. Uh, that it's, oh, I see. You know, it's possible he just didn't know. Well, it being on YouTube and and all. Oh, but yeah, I'm not going to say he definitely saw it. I mean, Wait. who knows? Ralphie's a homosexual. Where you know, it's uh, <laughs> you know, it's worse worse than that though, Jason. A Pardon? fucking rat. Tattletail. Yeah. A fucking rat. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> I tried I tried to phone in and call him on it, but I couldn't get through. I I, I listen to you guys, and uh, I just happened to be uh, a rat. <laughs> tooling around the FM. He didn't oh, know he was the God. rat. I'd hit him with a sound effect, but I have no talent. Yeah, don't, 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 so don't, don't hit him. Let me just, hit the, let me just randomly... Is that supposed to be sexy? I'll just randomly <laughs> press buttons good. because... Uh, Where's your templates? I don't have... They weren't given uh, to me because somebody slacked off. off. Who's, oh, whose job is no. that? I want to know whose job it is. Whose job is that? E Rock. E Rock no, again? No, you're dumb. No, whose no. job is it? I, I've never been informed as to whose job it is because when it happens, I'm never told. Watch. Whose job is it supposed to be? Is it yours? Um. I, don't, <laughs> I never get I an think answer. it needs to be assigned. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why I'll just happen. assign it to somebody. Yeah, good. Very good. Yeah, I'll assign it to somebody, and then if it's not done, that head rolls, and then whoever really that's, was supposed to do it feels all <clears> guilty. That's how government works. Right. No, when you get an appointment in government, dude, this is your job now, you're in trouble. Yeah. That means, <laughs> that, <laughs> that means that, we yeah. need someone to take a fall. Hey, we're going to promote you. Yeah. Is that it? Hey, Mike from Tampa, I love the commercial with Donald Trump that just aired on XM, you slobs. What, what was that? Was it a promo for the show with Donald Trump, or was it a commercial? What was it? Yeah, what was it? It might have been when they fired off the brakes, something was there. Nothing we played in between. So what was it? Was it a... <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. You're kidding, right, Bill? It would have to be in... Uh, you didn't answer the question. Poor Bill. He can't press a button right or talk. Does anyone know the answer to the question? Steve, answer? No, I don't know. <laughs> I love this place. Nobody <laughs> kind of pays attention. This place no attention is fan fucking town. Uh, it could have been an ad for Stern Show on Sirius, and yeah. nobody would know it. No one know why, where it came we from. We have to wait for a listener <laughs> to catch it. We yeah. actually we don't hear the spots here. Uh huh. Any of us? Like way to humiliate right. us. Well, it's funny. Oh, yeah. sure. <laughs> Technically, I would, I would hate to just... late, hate uh, the facts get in the way, Jim. My bad. <laughs> uh, so when it goes to dead air, like, like that's none when, of us unless we were having when just Washington is doing their thing. Exactly. And then they, all right, all right. Well, fair enough. It's yeah, so just funny it that we have to learn this stuff from the listeners, though. Mm. Is it a commercial for one of his like real estate money making seminars? I have no idea. I know he does that. That's the only thing I've heard. University or whatever. <laughs> yeah. He has the, the school that he's yeah. yeah. He's got. He, he's always a uh, uh, hawk in that um, convention thing that he does mm -hmm. down at the Javits Center, right. where he goes down and I'll tell you how to be rich. Yeah. And, him. First, have a rich father. Then, yeah, that that <laughs> helps. Use his money to get richer. Build, yeah, more buildings with that money. Sell them for more yeah. money. Yeah, and before you know it, you're rich. <laughs> Go ahead now. Oh, yeah, but enjoy that. Oh, and do an occasional seminar because I'm taking your money. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, why well, didn't he help you get a place, Hope? Uh, oh, that was just all bullshit for the radio. I like, what do you have gotten? I actually try to call his people. They they could give a flying fuck they say about me them? and the fact that I need a place to live. What did they say when you so called We don't them? want slobs uh. living in the building. <laughs> Take the message. We'll get back to you. That you know the the, the blow off stuff. How stupid is that? Like, whatever. That's ridiculous. That's real oh. stupid. He'll get another person in there in a second. <laughs> Trump buildings just fill up. It, it doesn't matter. Nah, but it's not even about the Trump buildings, which, you know, if you want to live in a, like, a snooty place like that, fine. Yeah. Uh, it's simply about uh, uh, the promotion, like, just for his name. It's like, why wouldn't you do that? It's, yeah, it I doesn't don't make know. sense. Yeah. It was, it was whatever. Hey, Sammy from Queens <clears throat> says Trump commercials about the learning addict. The learning addict. There you go. Yeah, okay, good. thank you. Let's move on to this kid on the, on the flight. I, I love this. I would love to have been on this uh, flight. Of course, I would never travel uh, AirTran. 
No, no, no first class. Is that that right? used to be Value Jet. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The one that so that one went into the Everglades. Yeah. and uh, I always liked that that had a smiley, a funny smiley face on the airplanes. Oh, my God. Like I you, know. Like you want your planes to be funny and silly. <laughs> that smiley. plane looks hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it was a, like, the, the tail logo was a plane with a big smile, and it was kind of curled up like a shrimp. Yeah. It exactly. was laughing yeah, like a plane as, as it went bend the like drink, that. It was going, <laughs> Yeah, like no matter how horrific, there's yeah. screaming people inside it's in flames going yeah. down yet that tail is smiling <laughs> yeah. well it's not smiling when it's upside down in the swamp oh no. just wham no, it looks like a frown so uh how did they solve that problem they got out the old paint roller <laughs> and <laughs> put airtran on it <laughs> and they want us to forget yep yeah right after that happened as a matter of fact yeah. short little story uh we were um Fired from Boston, mm -hmm. and uh, they were flying us around. We were to being Atlanta. courted. We were being, being courted by other stations, and we got our tickets, and it was for Air Trans. <laughs> and I was like, dude. This I is don't. value jet. They just yeah. painted over the fucking planes. Yeah. This has nothing to do, you know, with it's not a new airline just because it's got a new paint job. And that was when I was beyond scared of flying, so I was on a payphone. Oh, yeah, you were just giving just, Bob shit. Just giving our agent shit, the people that were flying us down So she got us the cheapest fucking airline that Jeez. just crashed into the Everglades, and they paint <laughs> the plane. It's still wet. It's, like, tacky. Like, I got a little ritual where I have to kind of pat the plane a couple right. of times before yeah. I go in the door. Mm -hmm. I kind of give it, like, a ding ding. Yeah, sure. get us there, buddy. You got you know? wet paint on your Yeah, there's like wet paint. <laughs> like, what is that? And I'm seeing kind of a smiley face plane underneath it. It's, it's, uh, it's, this, is, this is a red fucking car, Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, did you ever, you really, I, you really tap it when you walk on the plane? Yeah, I give, I give the side of the you tap door. My right, my middle, my, the, the right knuckle, the knuckle of my right middle finger. I have to go like this. On the outside of the plane. Yeah, I give two taps with, uh, not the palm of my hand, but the tips of my fingers. I go like dunk dunk to the right side of the door. I do too. The fucking, I, I have to do that. Yeah. But and then I have to put my cock in the cockpit and yell Allah Akbar and go sit down. <laughs> Just a ritual. But then you know everything's going to be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, a little ritual. Everyone does. It's probably going to be so many people do things like that that <laughs> rapid decompression of the plane because some idiots are knocking next to the <laughs> yeah, door. They're, they're weak in the aluminum. Yeah, they're a rivet out. popped out. We right. <laughs> investigation is determined. Tapping. All right, what happened on the plane? Uh, well, flight attendants. You're going to want to kill with... the kid and the parents. <laughs> and it's not just uh, passengers usually. The flight attendants who won't listen to the instructions and they kick them off the plane. Right. Massachusetts couple. Uh, think Air Tran Airways went overboard by treating uh, their crying three-year-old daughter in much the same way. Uh, Julie and Jerry Cal Coles Coles Julie and Jerry Julie and Jerry Foreign. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Julie and Jerry Donahue and daughter uh, Ellie were removed from the flight when the girl refused to take her seat before takeoff. Uh, but parent, the parents said they just needed a little more time to calm her down. Uh, get her in the There's seat. the problem. Get her in the seat. Get her in the fucking seat. Just take her physically and put her in the fucking seat. Pick her up. Grab her by the hair. Yeah. But uh, they, they had just visited her uh, Grammy. The Grammy. Yeah. So I guess she was upset with leaving Grammy. Who cares? Uh, she was removed because <laughs> she was climbing under the seat yeah. and hitting her parents. Uh, and wouldn't get in her seat. Put her in the seat physically. Get in the fucking seat. Well, you got to calm her down, don't you? What? Don't you have to calm her down? Yeah, but the thing is, that they're just shitty travelers. Right. There's a whole system to put it. I've traveled with two kids. I've got a two-year-old and a five-year-old. And I, we've, we we travel with them all the time. Oh. And there's you got to get in your fucking, get your shit put away fast so that you have time to calm your kids. They're just fucking assholes. They don't know. They're right. just like those people that... <laughs> <laughs> like, you know when you see on an airplane where, like, uh, there you're starting a taxi and a guy just gets up like a cunt, just stands up <laughs> and goes in the overhead? <laughs> and the plane stops and you see, you hear, we need everyone to everyone. sit down. It's usually a fucking Hasid, by the way, who yeah. just looks at the front of the plane like, huh? what? I don't, they uh, just going to get my m money or whatever. <laughs> we need all passengers to be seated and belted in for the taxi. Wait, wait. <laughs> 
And by all passages, I mean the one guy that's yes, standing up. Exactly. So I'm going to chastise everybody like you're all assholes yes. because one fucking asshole. All you people that were belted in and just reading and uh, paying attention to the rules because you're experiencing this flying thing, uh, you're all assholes too because yeah. one fuck stood up. Yes. Thank you. Enjoy this one. It would be funny if they chastised him specifically if they said... We appreciate all of you being in your seats, except for you, the Jew with the fat wife. Would you please sit <laughs> down so we can taxi? Get your stupid ass in the fucking seat. <laughs> no, so these people are just incompetent. I mean, I've... Yep. Look, I don't believe in... People that hate babies on flights, I think, are assholes. Like, when my, when my baby is crying and people, like, crane their necks to look back, yeah. like, could you turn off that machine that turn makes it that on. noise? I fucking looked them in the face, like, please actually say something so I can piss in your mouth. Because I, it's a fucking child, you, you fucking piece of shit. We're taxiing. You know, we're very good at keeping our kids quiet. They don't cry through flights. They, if, mm -hmm. But if my daughter goes like, eh, 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 a fucking some rich asshole, like, rustles his newspaper and uh, back at me, like, whoa, this is unheard of. And I look in his, I love it. I look right in their face. I've been with this kid all fucking day. I would love to unload... No. Unfairly on a string. Wow. <laughs> Give no, me a reason. No, it's great to see the other side because there's yeah. no one in this room that's going <laughs> to agree with you, Louis. Yeah, no, I know. Right. People oh, hate that. It's right. But it's great to see the other side of it because we, yeah, we want to turn around I, and tell I the want, I not. want the parents to treat the child like that Korean woman treated that chicken in the last episode <laughs> of Mash. <laughs> right. That's Damn what you, I want. You made me remember that. Yeah, it's, no, it was exactly. a chicken. Louis, it was a chicken, yeah. right? We're on Holy that. fuck. I'm at, it's very simple. I, mm -hmm. I, I just want the parents to at least try. That's the, yeah, that's, no, that's all, the thing. That's I all hate I want in my world. I, I get frustrated they're still mm -hmm. crying, but at least try to do mm -hmm. something. And, no, for and the if you're, four hours, break your fucking parent rules. Like, if yeah, there's yes. no candy allowed before right, dinner, and the kid's crying for candy, fucking yeah. send him into diabetic shock. No, by shoving you're candy absolutely right, and enough. they should have kicked them off. If the kid is not in his fucking seat, yeah. If he's a liability, uh, uh, fucking kick the whole family off. Right. Absolutely. And they did. They well, just did the and they, sh they should have. Yes, yeah, just the kid and make the, the parents standing fly. There, standing there on the empty jetway, yeah. you just see him like crawling dangerously close to the edge. Yeah. No, no, most parents are fucking idiots, and I hate mm -hmm. parents on airplanes that don't. Like, I saw this guy f flying with his daughter, and she's crying, and he doesn't, he's a guy, so he just sits exactly. back. Does it? All he has to do is hold her for a second. Right. Won't do it. Why the? And fuck? and a, and a mother I saw once is feeding Mountain Dew and M and M's to her fucking there kid, you go. whose face is purple with sugar rage by the end of the f and fucking caffeine. <laughs> Idiots. Are you ever embarrassed? Like I understand. Like Geraldo made a good point one time. He goes, I know it's annoying, but what do you want people to do? Not travel with kids? It's like, you have to. It's like, and they are kids. They're not Well, machines. the reason I hate people that like complain is because they have no talk. They'll complain about anything. Like, again, my daughter had a rattle once. She's not actually speak. We give her a rattle so that she'll be pacified. She's rattling her rattle as we're taxiing. And people are looking at me like, oh, come on. Yeah. Well, fuck you. Get on your cell phone and call your fucking girlfriend and let me hear that now, you fucking adult cunt. What? <laughs> 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 once the uh, once the engines really crank up, yeah. it's really hard to hear anything around sure. you anyway. Yeah. But it is that um, when you're boarding, the taxiing, mm -hmm. uh, when you get a kid crying, it it's not. I, I won't do the turnaround. I won't. But my your my shoulders up. go up, sure. and and that that sound, I'm like, I yeah. can't take baby crying sound. Right. To me, it's the the old nails on the blackboard. Sure. But you know what? It's good now. iPods. Everyone, yeah. has, can't you put your fucking iPod? Because I have one, and I don't, oh. I won't notice a kid crying. So what Even you're saying it, is, take it and hit the kid with it. Yeah, just holding it with, it with, it with your earbuds. <laughs> I, I did. I don't even realize a kid is crying. I swear to God, like someone will go, what, "Why is that kid crying?" And I realize, oh, I'm fingering it. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, here comes Bill Donahue. Uh, 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 before you finish the story, <laughs> Eric in Colorado. This just sounds completely insane. <laughs> Eric, what's up? Yeah, hey guys. Hey. A uh, couple of years ago, my wife and I were flying uh, out of t out of Denver, and the uh, this guy kept standing up on the plane, and the stewardess told him twice to sit down. On the third time, he was standing. The cockpit door was open, and this was before 9/11. The pilot slammed on the brakes on the taxiway. The guy went face first to the ground and broke his nose. The awesome. steward. The steward of another passenger looked at the guy and said, they told you to sit down. 
Why um, would he keep standing? What? Yeah, the, no, did, I've trying, seen that so many times. Uh, yeah. By the way, um, Craig is just stupid. Yeah. Why? 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 Yeah, and, and Sam it can't. It jumped up and started pointing like this, Craig, right here. Sam can't wait to get in the middle of this. What happened? Well, uh, the, I would have never went. Uh, the phone said in mid-flight the pilot jammed on the brakes. Right, mid-flight. So he that's jammed why on the we brakes. went to the phone call thinking it'd be, you know, we could point out how stupid this guy is. Like I can understand if the pilot wants to like hit those the air brakes right. and put the engines into reverse <laughs> right. uh, at right. thirty-five thousand like feet. Top gun. Yeah, like I'm that. Let him pass me. Let yeah. him pass me. And da, 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 da. <laughs> but do you really want a pilot that's that into fucking someone up no. <laughs> that he's just gonna stop the plane? No. We're going to do a uh, barrel roll now and then <laughs> right. kind of knock this guy's head off the fucking roof. <clears throat> Craig's having a tough day. Roof. He's, it's he's a learning plane. the ropes. <laughs> he's learning the ropes. We have roofs. <laughs> uh, yeah, the story continues. Um, there's rules. She climbed under the, the seat, wouldn't get out. So they were following FAA rules that children age two and above have to have their own seat and be wearing a seatbelt. The flight was already delayed 15 minutes. And in fairness to the other 112 passengers on the yeah. plane, yeah. the crew made not an operational decision to remove the family. Good for them. Um, they were, uh, we were given, giving an opportunity to hold her, console her, or anything. Weren't given, sorry. Uh, Ellie was sitting in front of our seat crying. The attendant motioned to a seat and asked if we purchased it for her. They uh, had paid for the seat. Uh, Jerry okay. said uh, another attendant, yes. Big problem here is that mm -hmm. it sounds from what they're saying that the little girl was sitting by herself and the parents were sitting together behind her. Yeah, what's that about? Yeah, because, and mm. parents that do this fucking are the worst, oh. that they put their kid, if three, if there's two parents and a kid traveling, yeah. like I sat next to some little girl on the flight here from L.A. recently, and her parents are sitting together eating and having a great time. I'm, at, I'm fucking raising their oh kid. Oh, my God. You're raising the I'm, kid for I'm that helping her with hours. her juice. I'm listening to her fucking cunty little stories <laughs> about her grandma. I don't want to hear any of it. Why, they weren't good She's stories? Do you want to play my Game Boy? No. I got fucking work to do. I wanna, I'm want trying to watch softcore porn on my fucking DVD player. And, and, and mom and dad are canoodling. Or they're having yeah. a great time on the other seat having fucking margaritas hey, and shit. another uh, cocktail here, please. Yeah. No. Oh, there's sit that's that's because that's and that's why she's crawling under the seat to get to her parents oh because they're not sitting with her it should have been the mom and the kid or the dad and the kid and then the one parent and the reason i'll tell you why that didn't happen is because the parents fought i'm not sitting with her no i fucking sat with yeah, her on I the way to grandma's oh well let's just make that stranger sit let, with them. uh louis ck yeah, I've let's seen let his act. Him. Yeah, <laughs> fucking assholes. Do you want to they say something to the parents? They should have been thrown off the plane while it was in flight. <laughs> they should have been thrown off from 30,000 feet. Goldfinger, right through the uh, window. You, you're the type that would say something, though. You want to say something to the parents? Sometimes? I would, you know, if they were there, I would, especially if there was a problem and it was holding up the plane, I think I would have said, I'm sure. Why isn't she sitting with you? You guys stink. I I'm hate sure, you. I'm sure people would just <laughs> mumble of you. Fucking yeah. <laughs> I bet they got applause. I hope they got applause. Uh, when they yeah. Off. Her cunty little stories. <laughs> cunty little stories. She's one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they told the family, you need to get her in control and in her seat. The couple told the attendant uh, they were trying. Uh, Julie said she asked the attendants if Ellie could sit on her lap, but they said no. The family flew home the next day. Wait a minute. Were there three seats and she was in... There might have been three seats together. But what they're saying there is that she, we're trying to get that she was... What was the, the the one sentence back that she was in front of them? Yeah, it's seat in it's front like, of us. She wouldn't get into her seat. They were. Um, she was like under the seat. Yeah, I think but then she was right before crawling. Just, no, she was sitting in front of the parents. I think they mean like on the floor in front of them. Like it, like say it's 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 parent empty seat parent. I think the kid just crawled out of her seat and was sitting on the floor in front of her yeah, parents. Yeah, that, that, she was climbing under the seat and hitting her parents and wouldn't get in her seat. And then what's the and then what's the next thing uh, after children that? under two and above must have their own seat and be wearing a seat belt upon takeoff. And then uh, the flight was delayed 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, in fairness to the other passengers, they were removed. We weren't given an opportunity to hold her, console her, or anything. Ellie was sitting in front of our seat, crying. Oh, so you're saying she's sitting on the floor? Maybe she was yeah. on the floor, like where seat. you put your little fucking. I'm sticking. Bag. I am enjoying my anger. I'm sticking. Yeah. Yeah. Stick with your story. It <laughs> makes a lot more fun. <laughs> yeah. We got a guy that 
Looks like he was on the flight. Larry in Florida, what's up? Hi, Larry. 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 Yeah. My son's a big fan of you guys. I've never really heard you. You guys are funny, though. I'll tell you what. Thank you. I was sir. on this plane and, uh, and when this happened, and it started. They were just kind of this. This little girl was really upset. She was, uh, you know, obviously she seemed like she was more tired than anything. And you know, I've got three daughters myself, so I know what that's like when yeah. they're kids and they haven't slept. And I'm calling. Uh, I think they were Sierra in Disneyland or yeah, something. This whole call. Uh, Let's just see where he goes with it. Yeah, yeah, you know, this, and. It was pretty upset. And then I said, Ron, get the shitty bitch off the plane. Mm. We're so on to him, like right from the start. Jimmy gives me a look like, I'm already looking up at the name like, uh, this, guy, this guy just isn't. Uh, who is this guy? Uh, he was I a punk. <laughs> he was, just someone he was, who thought he'd he was get a us. Head. <laughs> he was a what? A blockhead. You blockhead. <laughs> It's my new favorite. Why you? Insult. Oh, blockhead. Nerds to you. Don't be a blockhead. <laughs> well, get, get this. The family flew home the next day. The Orlando-based carrier reimbursed the family uh, about 600 bucks, the cost of the three tickets, and offered them three round-trip tickets anywhere the airline flies. But mm. it's too little too late for the Kulsaz. <laughs> The father said they would never fly Air Tran again. What you a shame. shouldn't have the first time. Wait, where do they live? Let's try to get them on the phone. Yeah, yeah call them up. Let's go to Joe in Jersey. Joe? Get them immediately. Hey, guys. Hey. How's it going, guys? Hey. Uh, first of all, I love your feel special. It was great. Thank with you. The, uh, with the uh, fuck you kids and all that. Oh, I'll yeah. tell you what. I tell my kid I want to do that every day. Thanks, man. Uh, number two is I was coming home from Florida uh, two weeks ago, and we had a problem. With, we were about to land into Newark, and my daughter was sleeping on my wife's lap, and the stewardess asked my uh, wife to uh, put, you know, put the seatbelt on before we land. And my wife said, "Well, you know, she's sleeping. Can we let her sleep?" And the stewardess said, "Well, no, we, you got to put the seatbelt on." So my wife starts arguing with her, and basically it came down to she uh, told my wife, "But we will not land the plane. We're going to have authorities at the airport and let you do this." So my, you know, it. The stewardess are pretty much assholes on the flight. You got to strap your well, kid. You got to. You no, know, it's the thing is. I know. I know. No, no. Something I, happened I, I, to the I, I, kid, and your kid like it's slammed for his your face safety. against the fucking. The thing that train. people don't understand is there's a million comedians that make hay of this stupid fucking. I hate stand-up comedy that's based on ignorance. Yeah. The whole thing of like put your seatbelt on, like that's gonna help if we crash into yeah. a mountain. Yeah, that's what they're for, you fucking dunce. <laughs> they're there for when you're taxiing. Because you, when you're fucking land, you're going about 150 miles per hour. Louis and C.K. If, ruins bit for hundreds of hack comics. <laughs> film at 11. If the plane wheel hits a chuck hole in the runway or something, yeah. you could, you could, your head could go slamming into. Oh, and yeah, the reason to put the seat goes up. So, sir, it's important. It's a federal fucking regulation. If something happened to your kid, the flight attendant would be run out on a rail Jesus. and sued oh, and everything. Jesus, lucky, yeah, no, fucking no, no, lucky, goody two shoes. You're gonna call that show. <laughs> <laughs> My chip of two. <laughs> no, here's the thing though. I understand what you're saying. But, and the Louis, 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 Louis is technically correct. You tell the story. But um, I, 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 they, they have in the airline industry turned into a bunch of just fucking. Just they're just the blind robotic twats. Like I was on the plane today with DIC in, Sh in Chicago, and um, I had my laptop open. The cabin door is closed, and the captain gets on and goes, "Oh, we got a DIC. We're gonna be about 20 minutes before pushback." Mm -hmm. So I'm on the laptop. 30 seconds later, the stewardess walks by and goes, "You have to close that, sir." And I'm like, "But he just said there's gonna be 20 minute delay." 20 minutes. She goes, "I know, but the doors are closed." So I closed it, but I'm just like you. Fucking cunt! Like he just said, twenty minute delay. Yeah. Like I understand yes. if we're backing up. Yeah. But he, you you heard him say it. There's, you know what? We have you not... know who ruins that? Who? Oh. Other people that would Other just that, do it. Yeah. The door would close. They're like they got to make the rules so basic they can't. Well, say, because when the door closes, yeah. unless we're de-icing yeah. and there's a delay, because then there'd just be everybody. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. And I got the folder here with yeah. me, and right. I'm. So, no, because so, so, he's basically so. caring for a fucking 200 children. Everybody on a right. plane is a child. And yep. if they, if she had to go, like, make these Solomon like rulings for every single, you yeah. opened it after the de-icing. However, yeah. you, and it would just uh, go to hell. You a power are an idiot. You are okay. You're fucking no. mongoloid. You're, yeah. There's a power this trip. A Absolutely right. There's a power trip thing going on yes. too. Man. Yeah, that federal that you have, they, that they're federally. In, but I mean, in, she yeah, could obviously in, endowed, look past easily. that. But she has this little bit of power, and she wants to. No, no, it comes down to the people, because most of the time you get up, 
Like, I, and right. they'll say, now it's absolutely federally, and I get up and piss. You, you guys take a lead. All the time. The point was, my, the first half hour of my this trip, my wife, my daughter was screaming. So she was quiet. So my mm. wife was like, hey, <laughs> let's keep her quiet. You know, keep it down. We had a half hour to, to land. And then you what happened? I mean, we weren't. That's, you know. And then what happened? Uh, well, we put the seatbelt on, you know. That that's was, another thing. Yeah. It's like, we have a half hour to land. It's not the point of the landing also. Yeah. It's it's the point that when the ch plane is changing altitude, it's hitting different air. Yeah, it, you get turbulence, the things. It's not no, like, like, like I sympathize. Said, I, know what it's, I know what it's like to fly with kids, but you just have to work within the system that there's, you know. Oh, yeah, no, it's understandable. And the they, bottom they, line they, is this. They, I'm sorry. I don't know, just let me make a point, sir. Like, if, you, if they fucking hit some bumps <laughs> okay. and you fall and break your fucking nose, you're going to sue the airline. And you're going to sue, That's and, and you're going to settle yeah. out of court, and the airline is going to have to pay out some money yeah. no matter yeah. how much your fault no, it was. No, but people do. Uh, it depends who on who you're... In the end. It always Us. ends. Joe Consumer. Exactly. I like to say. No, I was just uh, Jimmy made the point. It's they're robots. They have no, you know. No, it's, yeah. you can tell when you're dealing with somebody who's who's got the ability to decide based on the human they're... Or people that like I was I checked in a hotel. Got, the heat turned off in my f shitty apartment, so I went to the Mercer Hotel. Yeah, and I go down there and uh, I, they charge fucking five hundred and thirty dollars for a room, which is crazy. That is bizarre yeah. what they charge. But I'm there city. and I've got all my crap, so I just go ahead and pay. And then I I'm just walk in and ask for a room. Yeah, and they give one to me. I go upstairs. It's tiny. It's the bed's not even like a whole bed, Whoa. and the window's wide open and it's freezing and it's crazy. <laughs> So I just go to the front desk and I go, I'm, I, I'm bailing, I can't do this. And she goes, oh, well, you're going to be charged. For, I'm like, no, I've been in there why? for 10 seconds. Yeah, why? And she says, well, because you made a reservation and you need 24 hours. No, I didn't. I walked in and God. took the fucking room. What What is that based on? She says, well, when we rent the room, we're, guaranteed, we're expecting that we're making that rate on that. Yeah, but I've been in there for 10 seconds. 10 fucking seconds. Now, that's just, ridiculous. She says, I'll leave a note for the manager, and tomorrow he'll decide. I'm like, no, you're not charging my fucking credit card. And we started yelling at each other, this woman. And then some guy eating an apple walked by who works there and goes, what are you doing? Let him uh, just take it the charge I would off. Right, you in, right in front <laughs> of her. You you take out your Amex, yeah. uh, and you get on your cell phone. You call Amex, and yeah. right you look her right in the eye as you're going. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had, just had a charge. Yeah, I want to take it off. Yeah, and you guys deal with it. Like Amex has thugs. Yeah, of that course. deal with situations like that, yeah. and they will fucking they'll fight for you. Yeah, and you tell mm -hmm. them what happened. The, the hotel tells them, and they take the fucking shit yeah. right off your credit card. Oh, I hated that woman. If you fight enough. Also, the airline thing though is like people bringing up little things. I consider it. Fucking point A to point B transportation. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking to play slot cars in the middle of the lane, yeah. uh, the aisle. I'm not looking to fucking, you know, fun and games. It's travel. Yes. So I will, I don't care if they're robots. Bring me my drink. Bring yes. me my food. Yes. I'll buckle up. I'll stay in my seat when they tell me to. Mm -hmm. And then I'll get off the fucking plane when I get where yes. I'm at. The plane isn't the big fucking adventure. I'm not five years old, no. like, no, on that's a wild why, journey. Also, I, uh, you know, not to keep shitting on comedians, but most of them are hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so the other, easily shit on a bowl. Yeah. The other thing that comedians make fun of is all the problems, like how annoying it is to fly and you don't like the food. You're flying through the fucking air. Yes. It's a miracle. You're flying. It used to take a lifetime and with most of your family dying to dying. get from the East Coast to the West Coast. <laughs> and now it takes five hours and 99.9% .9 yeah. of the time there's zero problems. You're on a Conestoga wagon with Indian <laughs> shooting <laughs> arrows at you. Yes. And these motherfuckers are upset. I had to put my belt on. You're <laughs> hurtling through the fucking it's cosmos it's at 500 miles an hour. Yeah, and the, 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 uh, the fucking uh, the captain was so boring on the thing. Yeah, well, he has oh. an amazing skill. <laughs> And he is putting his life in your hands and taking you for three hundred dollars <laughs> to another city, thousands of miles away in minutes. It's almost like a transporter it's room. Unappreciative. It's cunt. time to have dinner <laughs> that, that day. Yeah, yeah. 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 That the is food great. was weird. Shut the fuck up. Uh, gives a shit. Hey, I like uh, it. Oh. let's go to Terry in Georgia. Has a problem with Louis C.K. Take oh, your shit Terry. with you, too. It's not just you. No. It's bags of your shit, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Terry. Louis, you're such a cock. What are you doing sticking up for these flying whores? Get my fucking drink. Get my meal. Get me a blanket and shut the fuck up. They do. Yeah, that's what they do. I've never had a yeah, problem. Yeah, when have you had not had them do that? Sitting there going, <laughs> we're walking out if we yeah. don't get service in another five minutes because... Yeah. 
They get they the second I sit down. Would you like a drink? Here's a menu. Try it and coach. What, what do you have? <laughs> I know. Hey, oh, is there? Not everyone flies first class. <laughs> yeah, Let me exactly. tell you something. The menu. You're I was the under menu. the impression I was flying a fucking eight foot wide plane, eight foot long plane. He's yeah. losing touch. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> I thought all planes <laughs> Holy only had five menu. rows. How well, much people in right coach away. must hate it when right. it's like when they make those announcements? Please put your seat up and <laughs> your tray table. Those of you flying yeah. first class, please let your your, whore, your hooker, yeah. take the dick out of your mouth. <laughs> it's, it's, All dicks out of class. hooker's mouth. Okay. Put away the DVD player, the massage unit, the fucking... But a menu, when we travel, the fucking... You don't get a menu, and the, the coach, they give you a menu. It says, this is for lunch. Eat it or go fuck yourself. Right. Yeah. Those are your choices on the menu. No, yeah. most of the airlines, they don't serve food now. Right. On yeah. Cro yeah. Cross-country flight, they say, and you know. Not behind that curtain. Enjoy we, the fucking McDonald's that you know, the guy next to you. We still got to relate plane. to the little people. Uh, I never knew. I thought everyone got that fine service. That was really yeah. silverware. He, he, he was commenting on the uh, uh, flight attendants. But that's what they I've do. Never had they a do bring you. Yeah, they do bring you your your shit, and they do shut the. Never had up. a problem with them. And then yeah, the, but there's no way there's anything worse than being a flight attendant. I don't think that, that ever you have to fucking care for these idiots that you're love... definitely better than as a person. Yeah. No, but he, when I'm talking about, when I'm talking about the robots, it's not like them then following those yeah. federal regulations. Yeah. It's like when my girlfriend and I were flying, and we had our seats together, we booked them together, and all of a sudden they were different. So I go up to the lady at the desk, and I go, we were, we were booked together. Yeah. Why are we separated on the plane now? And she goes, oh, well, they changed the aircraft. And I'm like, well, I fly a lot. And uh, it's a 757-300. The other uh, plane was a 737-300, so why would they There's swap no out reason. for similar aircraft? And yeah. she goes, oh, they, I don't know why, they just do that sometimes. And I'm like, you fucking See, genderless fucking bag yeah, of look shit. Look into it. Look into it. Don't. That's the company line. Don't lie to me. I fly too much, you yeah. fucking pig. That's what bugs me. Yeah. Not not when they make oh, you no, sick because you're hitting turbulence. Oh, listen, yeah. yeah I, I, I deal with plenty of or, pieces of or shit. When they separate people like based on race, I agree with that, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's step aside. We're I have to tinkle, Opie. Yeah, that's why. Can I just yeah. say one thing quickly? Yes. I was on a plane, and there was a foreign flight attendant like from Italy or something, a really weird lady with a European accent. And she said to this couple with kids, you have to separate. There are rules about having too many children in one row because of how many masks there are. Oh, right, because you have to assist the... Uh... Yeah, so she says, you, you, there are not enough masks for the children, and so... Um, if they there's a problem that one child will not survive. <laughs> she told him that? She said that. Wow, that is great. That's so fuck, fuck you, lady. I'll rip the oxygen mask off your face yeah. and put it on my own kids. No kidding. All right. Like there sorry. wouldn't be pandemonium. But not Spanking survive. kids next on the Opie and Anthony show. It was Whip 'em Out Wednesday, so I flashed some guy on the Long Island Expressway. He was involved in a seven-car pileup. There, there was blood and carnage everywhere. But my tits looked great. Please, wow responsibly. A public service announcement of the Opie and Anthony Show. Hey, we're lucky, Louie. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. A little lower, Bill, will you? Thanks. Speaking of comedy, we were talking about comedy during the whole break. Uh... ONA Traveling Virus 2. We're working on the details, Pete man. sent me a bunch of possible Holy dates. Holy shit. It's fucking great. They're, they're, uh, they're motivated over at Pete's office. Animals did. An yeah, a little bit. I think they want us to go on the road like 10 weeks. <laughs> little bit, little, Starting in April. A little bit motivated. I think they cut into my vacation. <laughs> yeah, we had a... We had <laughs> like a, a day. Yeah. We had to tell them to relax. But they want to start this up in April. We had a helicopter onto the ship, Anthony's vacation. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, he was Please. talking about stuff like that. Look, we'll we'll just get him off the ship for a day. We'll get him back. Yeah, there you go. Hel he helicopter man. Missed a buffet in. in the gambling. Uh, no. Who's on the virus tour? Who well, we're going to be asking you, Louis yeah. C.K., uh, oh, not to put you on the spot please. here. So you know, but uh, and you'll be paid five hundred dollars per performance. <laughs> five hundred dollars. <laughs> No, we we wanted to uh, bring some new names in this so year, have just to, to mix it up a little bit. Have you to know? have Louis. and then of course the regulars that you know and love from the show. But yeah, Louis's been killing for us. Absolutely. We'd love to have you, Louis. Well, I'd love you don't to have do to say anything. We'll no, just I'd... keep it at that. Okay. Ah, uh, this you know the business end. He'll call you. Mm -hmm. It's always yeah. fun. That'll be up to you guys. But and we, then just we hope we can work them. something out. Just yeah, I hope you're. Right. No, I, I mean I'm going on the road all year. I'm doing this year is a year road year. My wife and I made a deal that I'm going to go. It's going to be two weeks, one week off all year. Does she want you gone or she wants you home? 
uh, she wants me gone, and we need the money, <laughs> and uh, and I want to do another special this year, so I'm building another. Wait, hour. two weeks on, one week off. Yeah, so I'm going to be on the road like oh, all how, year long. How lucky are you? I know. Don't I have can't to deal wait. with the screaming kids. I can't wait. Wow. I go on the road well too. Like I have the club pay. Like I have them pick me a really nice hotel, like the mm -hmm. best one in town. I don't. They pay. I pay for it, but I have them take it out of my check. And uh, it's so, all it's all fuck my wife stuff. It's all <laughs> when I go on the road, I stay out their fucking ritz, and it's like half my check. But fuck her. That's why. So many things are motivated. I think uh, in the world by fuck my wife. I really think like there was a guy in Egypt and his wife don't make pyramids, and he's like fuck you, I'm making them. And that's what he, I swear that motivated that. <laughs> But no, I do. I yeah, I, I go nice on the road. Yeah, I pay. It's not nobody's. I'm not a star. Nobody lets me have that. They're not. But my wife it, yeah. doesn't bother looking at the books and seeing she doesn't. And you, you know, you know yeah. it's a way to hide. You've got to keep yourself rested and comfortable. Yeah, okay. yeah, but not yeah. at the Ritz. <laughs> I, do, I literally stay at the Ritz. Do you order room service? That's, fucking, of course. Yeah, that's like the best. <laughs> I fucking I rent a Jaguar. <laughs> what else in DC? On, no I way. rent. I always now rent a Jaguar if it's available. Oh my just god! Just because I'm an asshole. Insane. And then I, I fly first class and I stay at the Ritz. It takes a huge amount of my check, but my wife doesn't. You know, because it's not like it's coming off our visa bill. I have the club pay for it, which right. is also bad for my taxes. It's really dumb. Yeah, because um, you could write all that shit off. But it's because at home I gotta fight for everything I want. I yeah. have no fucking. There's no. I don't have like a proper office in our house like there's nothing that is my comfort is the oh last priority God. of our family it's our kids our my, the poor tired mom who works so hard to raise the kids and I can go fuck myself but on the road I'm like fuck all everybody that, yeah. I am the president of the United States <laughs> <laughs> the Jaguar and the Reds in first uh, you. if there's no Ritz I stay at, a, at the presidential suite at whatever <laughs> fucking shithole I'm staying at <laughs> that's the kind of I'm such an asshole. That that's, really, that, that's wonderful. The greatest. Yeah. yeah speaking of the ONA traveling virus, Vegas, yes. West Palm Beach. These are just thoughts so far. Washington D.C., Long Island. Looks mm -hmm. like uh, possibly Jones Beach, Connecticut. Uh, hopefully the city of Boston this time around instead of uh, Worcester. Uh, Worcester. <laughs> Detroit, Chicago, Homedale, and uh, Camden for Camden. all the Philly folk. Going back to Philly, huh? We should punch, Yo. we should punish them this year. And skip them. I hope they're going to behave. We'll have more details. Fucking snipers up in the rafters. Yeah. Uh, spanking of the kids. Where you stand? We all got spanked growing up, right? We all got hit. I got spanked. I got spanked on the front. <laughs> <laughs> My dad would, would, would... I can't even make the joke. <laughs> it was that awful. It's that bad. Yeah, my parents would He would hold your show. dick in his hand and slap it like that? With his face. <laughs> With his face. I wasn't going to say that. I was actually going to just do it. I'm glad you did. <laughs> I had the image already, and then it went into motion. Like, it yes, moved. Why face. can't you make uh, the joke? Can my parents listen to the show sometimes, and there's certain oh, things I just they're can't starting, say. They're starting oh, to... Geez. They've always, no, they haven't said anything. I, I uh, do love my girlfriend, though. She's so nice. Uh, yeah. Aww. Yeah. She's up, we do a little trick, like she'll go to kiss my cheek and I'll turn and plant one on her lips. Aww, oh, oh, adorable. But I do that right after I eat another girl's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Louie on DVD uh, this coming Tuesday. <laughs> Can order now, Amazon.com. I think growing up, uh, you, if you're at a certain age, you got spanked. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, it's just the way When did that were. end? When did the timeout start? Louie, you uh, have the kids. Uh, I got kids and we don't spank them. I don't. So you, you're you're, you're like, like the barrier. You're yeah. the generation that got spanked. I know what decided, it did to me. I ain't gonna yeah. do it to another kid. It horrified me as a kid. It did I, not help me at all. I don't speak to my father. No, it's <laughs> one of those things really? that like they were bad spankies. Then, yeah, I. Well, you know, there's something? a difference. This is different. I don't either. Yeah, I don't talk to my father. No, He's been dead ten years. I can because I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you, Lou, you don't talk to your dad? Well, no, my we're starting to reconcile now because I'm finally beyond my problems. So we're starting to be friends now. My Are dad. you? Yeah, <laughs> but so for a lot of years I didn't speak to him. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's gotta hurt. I guess it's it, well, it, you know, it's one of those family things. You don't want shit getting in the way and. Well, it's like, I think, I remember my dad, he would lecture me first and tell me why he's gonna, which is like torture. That's fucking A, man. Going, Here's why you're getting yep. spanked, and, uh, and I remember standing there thinking, the instant I'm old enough, I'm getting the fuck away from this man, <laughs> and never seeing him again. <laughs> my mother used to hit me, but with her it was different, cause she was overworked, she was a single, my parents got divorced, so she's a single mom, tired. Yeah. Yep. Shut up! Bang! 
I totally relate to that. Mm -hmm. If you're a parent and you're overwrought and you just out of frustration need to hit your kid just to settle you just to center yourself i totally understand <laughs> center yourself. i understand i sympathize with it yeah <clears throat> but the idea of hitting kids uh, methodically as a way to discipline them i just i don't think i think it's wrong i don't think it's like morally wrong i just don't think it works i would get yeah. it doesn't work i would get the no. strap the fucking belt yeah, would come off my dad had the belt he had yeah. the belt and he would like one time i uh I was walking my bike across the street, and we had hedges that were higher than I was, and I decided I was just going to walk out in the street and not look for any cars coming or anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I decided to do this. Mm -hmm. I just walked my bike out in the middle of the street, and a car <laughs> like jammed on the brakes. He's yelling at me, and my father was in the yard and saw this happen. Uh. So I was like, what the fuck? grabs the belt, and here's what he would do. He would fold the belt up right. into two, uh -huh. you know, so you get that, oh, like, boy. nice loop. Yeah. And as he's hitting me, this reciting would happen with each whack. <laughs> Why did you run out in the street when you... And I'm like, oh, could you leave out hey. some fucking adjectives? And <laughs> yes. Just got get to the point. Could e you even more. This is not four syllables in the. Yeah. yeah. The. The. the uh, uh. <laughs> W-H-Y-D-I-D-Y-O. You're fucking dead. You're uh, spelling no. now. <laughs> this is killing me. You're killing me. And it just was it, it it just got like fear mm -hmm. and pain and yeah. you just didn't mistrust of your parents yeah, you don't think it didn't they help want. it's it's pain before you can take that kind of pain didn't help yeah what kind no, of kid is supposed are, to take fucking, that kind of pain the ignorance shit i hate hearing is when people are like well my child uh, mouthed off to me and i slapped them in the mouth mm -hmm. oh never did it again yeah is that all that happened? <laughs> that he never did it again. He never yeah. did it again, and he scarred. It's, it's like not it's not an on. A kid isn't a product. Like, hey, it worked. <laughs> That's all I care about is the result. Was the kid right. wasn't wasn't uh, nasty again? Yeah. Well, you could have gotten that respect by the fucking kid liking you as a person, or just yeah. fucking giving them some positive. I mean, there's a million ways. When you yell at your kid, it destroys them. I mean, they, they, you don't need to fucking hit them, you know. Yeah. I just don't think the, it, I thought the hitting thing was I, really weird. I thought and you'd be a hitter. No, never. I never thought you'd be a that. spanker. And also, to me, it's like fucking perverted. <laughs> like, it like it is like an S&M thing. You're going to spank your kid's bare bottom while it's they're ridiculous. screaming? Pull your pants pull down. Fucking what? stick over. If you're doing that and you don't have a boner, then then I don't even understand what's going on. <laughs> hey, uh, Glenn from Connecticut. <laughs> Opie said there were bad spankings. Does that imply that there are good spankings from your father? I think there... I think you could go too far is what I'm saying. I think there's a... The whack... On the ass yeah. with the open hand, mm -hmm. and not a fucking send him flying across the room thing, but just an attention getter, like a like a psh, hey, no, right. I think if a parent does that, and me not being a parent, I'm talking to my ass here. I don't know, but I just seem like that's a little less destructive than the fucking ritualistic strap beating. Yeah. Which, by the way, it's it's funny you mention it. My parents too got divorced, and then my mother had to be the disciplinarian. She tried it once yeah. and she tried the strap thing and we had bunk beds so I went like rolling into the lower bunk bed and she tried getting in there like with the fucking sidearm pitch because mm -hmm. she couldn't go overhand because right. the top bunk was in the way the Louis Tiot <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah. submarine pit yeah. Nice. Yeah. I see the red side I don't help Louis today yeah. she, uh, she went in with the side swing the tip of the and she didn't know to double over the strap or right. the tip of the belt <laughs> did a perfect fucking Cat o' nine tails, uh -huh. whoosh, whoosh, snap right on the tip of my dick. Oh, oh nightmare! I, I I was screaming like I had been shot in the abdomen, oh. and, and my mother dropped the belt and just oh my god, she's crying, <laughs> yeah, of she's grabbing ice, she doesn't know. Kissing it, making it she, better. <laughs> yeah, well that helps. Yeah. She's sucking putting ice on it, <laughs> sucking out the poison. <laughs> she wasn't hitting me with a cobra. Fuck <laughs> out! <laughs> Make two X's. There's no snake, just in case. <laughs> wasn't sure what I picked up. Was it my belt or a snake? She. Put Put ice on. She's crying and never fucking even never hit me again. No, yeah. That was it with the disciplining with mm -hmm. with hitting. Yeah. No, and again, I understand if you're bringing your kid up in a tough uh, situation and you if a kid goes out and almost uh, dies, you just want to fucking get it in the yeah, head. A quick. Method. I understand it. So I don't like. I don't look down on parents to do it. I understand it. 
Um, but people that like are arrogant about it, I'm like, it works. Yeah. It worked on me. I'm fine. No, you're not. No, you're not. Or, you're an idiot like the rest of us. Your eyes and, don't even focus. <laughs> no. And it's not working. There's fucking the wor- The world is a fucking mess. It's yeah. fucking it's, things up. It's yeah. like if you, your refrigerator is making noise. I unplugged it. The noise stopped. Yeah, exactly. yeah but now it don't work. Yeah. Your food's rotten. Yeah. <laughs> it's, well, it doesn't make that noise. I didn't hear a peep out of it all night. Yeah. Something stinks. I got to jump in. Tom in Tennessee. Daughter enjoys to get spanked. What's this about, Tom? Mm. What's going on, boys? Yeah, um, I can't even spank my daughter. She's four years old. I can't even spank her anymore because she would start to do shit. Just for me to spank her, and and, mm. and she loves, likes to get spanked. And Holy fuck! Of course, what a whore! She, she yeah, wouldn't cry. Yeah, she wouldn't cry. She would just look back at me and just give me. <laughs> she gives you the fucking eyes. See, that's the, the territory eyes. you're getting into. Holy yeah, shit! It's yeah, fucked up. It's fucked up. Yeah. It is. Wow, wow. I've wow. never fucking heard of that. That is not right. There's a guy in her future that's gonna be real happy. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. My, my daughter likes getting timeouts. She likes. She has to sit in the corner with like facing the wall. Yeah. She, she she'll do something and then go. Do I need a timeout? Do I need a timeout? <laughs> she gets off on it. She likes it. Who started? Wow, that's like some crap. kind of discipline thing. Sure. Maybe some time alone. Do you watch any of those nanny shows? No. Nanny nine one one or no, I something. I got enough fucking time. Yeah, I, I I realize I don't, I, the idea of watching somebody else having a problem with yeah. Kid. Fucking, I'd rather. Well, let me give you a little in the insight. Then, yeah, <laughs> myself in the I'll give you a little insight on single guy with no kids. Yeah, you know, I got a girlfriend, but you know, no kids. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, those shows fascinate me mm-hmm. because it is a fucking madhouse at the beginning. Yeah. Kids running, spitting at their parents, cursing, mm-hmm. rip, ripping hair out of the siblings' heads, mm-hmm. and then uh, they they're, they're smacking them around. And then this nanny comes in and makes a little timeout area, and it takes time. She gets down on the level of the child, yeah, like yeah. on takes a knee, and explains to the child what the problem is. And then by the end of the show, there are these little angels yeah. that put their clothes well, away. What you find out is that the parents aren't doing anything. Most right. parents don't do That's any. Usually, what they it don't is. put any thought. They just live with these kids like they're roommates. Yep. They let them watch television, which just makes your kid into a fucking idiot, <laughs> and puts the TV is a level of stimulus that nothing can compete with. Louie, it's all I fucking did. I know, as a me child too. Me too. Was sit in front of the we TV, pump them full of fucking MSG and sugar, which all food is. Same thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, give them television to watch, which sends them into this fucked up state in their <laughs> yeah. minds. And then they get the kids don't have a regulatory system. They no. just they get agitated. They do they don't know how to stop themselves from doing some. So these parents like let the fucking TV raise them, give them bad food without even thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Don't give them any fruit or actually fucking any nutrition. Yeah. Then the kid goes ah, and then they hit them. I mean it's it's turning. It's why the whole and people are like well, it works. No, it doesn't. The country's going to shit. Yeah. It's fucking uh, crime and drug. That's where drug addiction comes from. Interracial relationships. What's that? Interracial relationships. Interracial relationships, ah, right. which is a huge problem. Bring, you and know, <laughs> girl gets hit enough times and doesn't want her, she's bringing one of them home. That's, That's right. right. Dark, yeah. hey, dark dad, pink hat. Oh, I'll show you in the end. Every fucking beating the father ever gave. Ever, hey, ever, Pops, ever. want to introduce you to Tyrone. <laughs> yeah. Hit me now. Holy fuck. Hit me now. Andy uh, from Chicago. Andy. How's it going, fellas? Hey, yeah, I'm spreading out here, so keep it up. Um, yeah, growing up, we lived on a little cul-de-sac, and uh, not only did I get everything on my ass from... Uh, a wooden spoon like the cake mixing spoons and ping pong paddles and studded belts, but it was pretty much uh, the norm. If I was acting up and my folks weren't around, my neighbors could take care of it. It pretty much got to the point where if the neighbor was having a bad day and I was uh, acting out of any way, they could pretty much take it out on me. Oh, permission um, to hit you by a neighbor. That's, wow. that's nice, oh, too. Not just, not just hit, man. One time we had a little crick by my house, and... Uh, the guy, the neighbor, had Uh-oh. me over. Oh, the Mark Twain character old. this guy is. Yeah. At a crick. <laughs> what, wow. what about the highly discipline? Uh, you started Did nigger Jim hit you <laughs> <laughs> with a radio? Hey, man. <laughs> he had me over his head. He's like, I'm throwing you in. I'm throwing you in. I'm like, no, you're not. You're a liar. He drops me and kicks fault. me with steel toe boots in the ass <laughs> for calling him a liar at five years old. 
And not only did I get a, a boot in the ass, but then he calls up, tells my mom that I called him a liar. So I had to do that. Wait for daddy to get home to get. Oh, oh great! After you get that. hit. That was another thing. Yeah, wait till your oh. father gets home, and, and then you, now you got to sit like fucking you, you, the Green Mile. Yeah. You're just waiting to yep. get fucking That's bludgeoned. That's the worst part. You yeah, know, I remember when I was a kid once. Psychological damage. My mother gave me five dollars to go to the market to buy some stuff uh, for the family, and I was oh, walking wow. around with my friends just playing and not get going to the store. Oh. And then I found I'm walking down. Little this, Louis fuck. Up. Yeah, here it comes. Up. Oh, and boy. I walk in through this little alley behind the stores that we used to fuck around in, and I found five dollars. And in my insides, I knew it was my five dollars that I had dropped <laughs> and then found. But I, I didn't go in that pocket because I didn't want to believe it. I wanted to believe that I found five dollars. And I bought <laughs> ice cream, and I bought the Guinness Book of World Records. I remember it was a big deal to me that of I course. bought that. I'm a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> it was a big book when we were kids. 17. It was, I was, yeah, I was 20, 23. <laughs> <laughs> and I went home, and I told my mother, look at this stuff I got. And she said, where's the food that you're supposed to buy? And, oh, my God, I lost the $5. And How so, did you even think that would pan out yeah. for you? So she sent me to my room, and then when my father came home, she told him the story. I could hear them talking, and they're laughing about the story. Of course. They just hysterical. think it's hilarious. So I'm like, I have to be off the hook. But they laughed at my story, and then he beat the shit out of me. Which is the yes. worst. I mean, it's seared in my memory. Of I remember course. every moment Look, of it. It's right there now. <laughs> yeah. It's awful. Oh, let's go to the story yes. here. Should spanking under three be illegal? Parents could soon find themselves in timeout for spanking their kids. A California assemblywoman is proposing a ban on spanking children younger than three. If that bill passes, hitting your toddler would be a misdemeanor offense, landing you actually behind bars or with a thousand dollar fine. MSNBC legal expert Susan Filan joins me. Now, Susan, this is a fun one. Um, what? what do child fun. abuse laws cover? Abuse. Uh, abuse, neglect, beating, cruelty, endangerment, spanking. But here's the problem with this legislation. What's a spank? Is it a, a tap? Is it a love tap? Is it a smack? Is it a... Bark? And who decides that? Exactly. Exactly. And now we're going to start telling parents how to really parent their children. Why don't we now have a bill, you didn't love your child enough. You didn't oh. nurture your child enough. You know, you were That's overly nice. critical of that art project. <laughs> it, it is a slippery slope. I, as, as we're both parents, so we, we yeah, can both the really Asian feel that this both one hunts. deeply and personally. <laughs> I hate that slippery slope. Yeah, I do too. Uh, no, you make so you have to it's slippery. Everything's a slippery everything's slope. Everything's a slippery slope. Yes, right, even exactly. a fucking yeah. uh, even a well adhered slope is slippery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to stand on that on it's, that stable ground because it's a slippery slope. slope. Slope has been salted, <laughs> and still people are bitching yeah. about it. Well, they ask, how could this even be enforced? That's the question. What yeah. judge is going to believe yeah. a two-year-old? Experts say, and I think this is pretty true, spanking usually happens in the home. Experts. Yeah. So how would this oh. even be enforced from a legal standpoint? Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine now oh parents bickering? I'm calling the cops on you for spanking the child. Oh. I mean, it, it's just a really, really bad idea. It's an impossible bill to enforce. It's going to be impossible to define. It's going to be impossible to determine appropriate punishment. Who gets a year? Oh, that was a really bad spank. You get six months because that wasn't the worst spank I've ever seen. Right. I mean, I just, it's, for me, it's like how this differs from, I mean, child abuse is important to have laws in the book to protect things, leave a mark, et cetera, et cetera. There, there's a, a, an easy way to say abuse happened here, physical abuse happened, and you need to be punished. This is a slippery slope and a gray area oh, in the law. That said, Enough what do you think the chances are of this passing? Uh, zero. <laughs> I mean, I, I just think it's stupid. Uh, you just, well, you're stupid. Then why are you guys talking about it? Yeah. Exactly. I don't think non story. They should pass a law like that. Nah, no laws, no. just fucking. No. Get, people shouldn't have uh, should common sense. Do I, it, but you know they shouldn't pass it. And California doesn't give a shit about kids. It's no. the meanest state in the world. <laughs> they care about Awful themselves, place. right? Yeah, no. I mean, I was I, I did a benefit for this place uh, that was a foster home for kids that are like. Kids that were left in cars by the highway because they were had terminal kids that have terminal diseases in poor neighborhoods. Oh, no. They get fucking left just on the highway all the time. So this was a foster home for them, and California, the state of California, closed it because they didn't wow. like the statistics. The, the, the foster homes is where they get the statistics of how many kids are endangered, and the statistics were getting too high in California. Makes the state looks so bad. they just closed the. <laughs> Close it down. They won't count them. No way to count them. And we look no, better. No, it's awful. Do you read the fucking Grapes of Wrath? It's an awful place. No, it's a wow. cruel state.
So they're hypocrites. I think what we need to be aware of is if you see a kid in a grocery store whose parent or caregiver is whacking them, you know, pants down with a hairbrush on a bare oh, bottom. No. Oh, video. Oh, hold on a second. Get that camera yeah, phone right. out. Who the fuck has seen that? <laughs> YouTube. Another fucking Bill Donahue. Yeah, tester. no kidding. Oh. What if a child is blowing Martin Luther King? <laughs> <laughs> and being spanked for he it. He could be spanked for oh, that, yeah. sure. Store whose parent or caregiver is whacking them, you know, pants down with a hairbrush on a mm, bare bottom. Ow. You call the police. Yeah, I don't I think anyone's going to call that a spank. No. And I think that's what we're talking about. I think we're talking well, about egregious You're talking about abuse. Abuse. abuse, right? But a parent, a, a love tap, a little smack, a wake up love spank, tap. whatever you want to call it. I mean, parents have wake, wake up spank with their children. That I used to do that every morning. And it worked during the day. No. Sometimes they don't Too get tired. the verbal cues, so that is what they're targeting. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Anybody out there with a two-year-old? Uh, yeah, exactly. So this is dumb. Okay. I mean, really, we need, we need children now, laws, <laughs> and we need real police. Anybody under three will be really we, funny. Aren't we all is talking on the about kid's third birthday? You just planted your that. fist into his stomach. Let's put our toward that. Sexual predators, people who <laughs> molest children. What? I mean, that's where we should be putting our resources. Ah. Spanking, oh, please. Spanking molesters? What? <laughs> but again, it's like these people that are like, all right. You know, should we be watering our lawns in the summer? I don't know, but what about people blowing children in Martin Luther King? And like, what is? I, I was talking about something really completely different. Exactly. exactly, exactly. We got another great story, Lee in Indiana. Lee, it's your turn hey, on the Open Anthony Show. What's up, Lee? How you guys doing this morning? All right. Um, yeah, when I was a kid, my stepmom used to use um, what they call bed slats on the one by twos they used to put underneath the mattress. Yeah, oh those you things, bed slats. Holy shit, that's fucking <laughs> like in the hole beating. That's like like oh. fucking when you're in the hole in jail, in oh, prison. Oh, it was the worst. And she beat me one time so bad she almost broke my arm. So I called the cops, and the oh. cops come out there and showed her a special hole to put on my neck to make me pass out. And they said if he ever gives you that kind of problem again, just squeeze his neck right here. He'll go down like a brick, yes. you know, like a bag of bricks. Who are you, Radio Raheem? Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I got it. Wow. Hey, I was up in Chicago seeing you guys' billboard up there yesterday, and I don't know what they did to your face, Anthony, but you're, it looks like you're just one fall short of a rubber helmet, man. I mean, they got that thing so distorted what? up there. No oh, wonder what? nobody listens up there in Chicago. They distorted your face on the... Oh, uh, oh no, 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 it's just the way I really look. <laughs> you know he could have been a model, right? He could have been a model. You know what else is uh, really bad when you're a kid? I used to get hit with um, different objects if something wasn't readily available. Yeah. And one thing was when they hit you with your fucking toys... That you like, then that toy all of a sudden is not fun for you anymore. You would lose got, that toy. I got beat with a Hot Wheels track. <laughs> like fucking oh, hot with great, those yeah. orange Hot Wheels track yeah. are custom made for beating children with. Yeah. And and I got a smack on the ass with it. And then you're playing with your Hot Wheels and just getting anxiety and not knowing why. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, kids also, yeah. you're teaching them to use it against each other. Like, if you have siblings, yeah, the parent who hits becomes like this justice system right. that you learn how to subvert and use against you. Now I will use this. Yeah, like, I, there was a little kid across the street from me when I was growing up named Benji, and I didn't really like him, but I got threw in with him because we're the same age, so our parents, oh, go play with Benji. Yeah. So I was over there, and he was just... Ir I started poking him with a stick, just being an asshole to him. <laughs> and he was going, stop it! And I just kept poking him, and then he hit me. And his father saw it throughout the window. And his father came running out and beat the shit, and just spanked the living shit out of him. Wow. And I was thrilled at that cause and effect. Just watching so that, yeah. The next day, I went over, and I started poking him. And he's trying to resist because he doesn't want to get hit, and I just kept bothering him. Oh, is that And hard? then he hit me, and the father came out and beat him up again. And I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> that's what I was taught by spanking. Yeah, see? And he was taught, and it was unfair to him. And oh, now Benji's in a bathhouse right now, probably <laughs> voluntarily being tied up and fucked in the mouth. Yeah. Thanks to you and your stick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Torrance, for instant feedback, my father went to the WWF School of Parenting. He would just grab <laughs> random objects nearby to beat me with. He once broke a shelf over my head, and I remember thinking, I built that in shop class, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> The things that go through your head. Right. I, I, I was blaming things on animals and stuff. Like I, I used to take things apart. I would love just mm -hmm. disassembling stuff, but I was a kid, so I never knew how to put it back together. You could just take things apart. And my parents had a nice clock, 
and I just wanted to know how it worked. So mm -hmm. you never think you're going to take the whole goddamn thing of apart. You, took it apart. you just want to kind of look at the insides, and then something goes boing, yeah, and it's, it's just gone, and it was apart. So I laid it out on the floor, and I took uh, the dog. We had a dog, and I took his, his paws, put him up on the table, uh, that the clock was on and scraped with his, his nails <laughs> into the table. Like I'm setting up the perfect, oh, uh, uh, crime here and, um, left it like that. And I, I f it would have been better if I said I did it because I had to watch my father beat the shit out of our dog. Yep, yep. This poor animal's going, burr, burr, and, and yep. I'm like, Oh my God, I just fucking yep. condemn that dog, that innocent dog to this beating that he's yep. getting. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. That's what beating your kids, because your kid can't face a beating. Right. It's too awful for a kid. That's it's what not, I was doing. I couldn't proportion. take the beating. So that's what you turn kids into liars. And I am a liar my whole <laughs> life. I'm a dishonest person <laughs> because I couldn't face negativity. Wow, this I couldn't like, face making a mistake. This is like therapy. Yeah. I'm getting a therapy it's session. True. But that's what if you hit your kid, people, oh, he never did that again. Yeah, he did. He just got good at hiding it. You yeah. Fucking you, faggot. You know what be really funny is after you did that with the clock, if your dad fucked the dog in front of you. And that, was, <laughs> that was the punishment for the dog. <laughs> and it died. He fucked it to death. How do you know that isn't just the part I left out, Jimmy? <laughs> Uh, we got another great dad. Fuck that dog. <laughs> we got another real good one coming in here. Justin from Oklahoma. Justin. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, Justin. Hey, listen. Whenever I used to go stay with my dad in the summertime, so I hated going because my stepmom used to beat the shit out of me. But I always had a hard time going to sleep because I was always homesick from my mom. And he would tell me that the little black boys would come around and come in my room and beat me up if I did not go to sleep at the time I was supposed to go to sleep. Oh, my God. How much pressure is that? Yeah, I remember that one, too. Did it ever happen? What's funny now is my girlfriend is black. That's cool. And your favorite movie is them. Ghost. My favorite movie is Ghost. <laughs> did that ever happen? Did any black boys come in your room and... Not that I ever knew. I fucking went to sleep. Sure. We, uh, me and my brother... You know, we used to talk. We had bunk beds. We shared a room. So we would talk. And we lived in a, a real small shithole apartment mm -hmm. where the our bedroom was right off the living room. So my father and mother would just be miserable on opposite sides of the couch yeah. watching like Ronan Martin's laughing. <laughs> just trying to get a laugh in their lives. <laughs> and, my, and my mother looking snidely over my father every time he laughed because <laughs> it, it implied he was enjoying himself. And that just pissed my mother oh, off that he awful. was having fun. Oh. Just the hatred between the two oh, of them. Totally. And me and my brother would sit there and just mm. like we, we would be in, in uh, on bunk beds in the bedroom but they could hear us mm -hmm. and we'd, I'd just, where we'd be just, whispering, just whispering to each other anything like Jay, just see the commercial for the new Hot Wheels and stuff it's so cool if you want to get inside and we'd hear from inside hey knock it off in there and get to sleep if you're not to sleep in, in 15 minutes, I'll come in there. And then you're sitting there going, oh, my God, my body has to fall asleep. Or he's going to know. <laughs> no, I'm not. How much pressure is that on a kid to sleep? Like, I know. Is that, and then we couldn't talk, so, so we gave you lower. Even lower. Just try, we were just kids trying to enjoy yes. each other's company. And he would come over. And hang the belt on the doorknob. Oh, Jesus. And it would like That's swing. Sleep. The light would glisten off the buckle. Like I yeah. remember this vividly. Like that belt would be the warning. That's going to make you sleep. Nice and you'd me. stare at the belt and be, I got eight minutes left. Holy <laughs> shit. He's going to know I can't fake it. I can't shut my eyes. I'm not a fucking actor. I can't shut my eyes and make believe I'm asleep. He can uh. tell I'm not asleep. <laughs> It was just frightening. What would have happened if, like, after you went back in the living room, if you opened the door and took the belt and threw it back down the hall and go, you forgot your belt, stupid. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Oh, oh and I have loved to have been able to do awesome. something like the that. Plank it on the floor after you throw it. He wouldn't oh. be here today, man. The se And, you know, let me tell you something. I, I, don't know, a... I don't know what effect this had, but when they would go out or leave the house and a babysitter would come over or something like that, oh. me and my brother would break into the fucking liquor cabinet and start drinking. At what age? We were wow. drinking. What age? Wow. I, I had to be fucking eight. <clears throat> Holy shit. And, and maybe my That's... brother was nine. And my brother would start fucking making out with the babysitters. Right. They were like 15 years old, yep. 16 years old babysitters. No, that's what happens. Because yeah. when my parents... You just lose you fucking control. Yeah. They say, fuck you, I'm doing no, it. When my parents went, because my dad left the house, and then my mother would work. 
<clears throat> and I used to go home. I used to leave school in the middle of the day all the time, <laughs> just leave. And I'd go like, home. I'm and just I, leaving. Yeah, i just buy. And I was like a feral cat in the house, so fucking <laughs> rubbing my dick against every surface in the house. Fucking, you know, just disgusting. I used to climb. We had an upstairs neighbors because we lived in a two-family house, and I used to, through the basement, go into their apartment and steal shit. I became a fucking mess. It really worked. It worked oh, yeah. well, that, that um, spanking yep. thing, I guess. Yeah. Wow. I've, I've always kind of been an advocate, too, of, of the of <clears throat> spanking, but... uh yeah, now I that I look it back, it didn't, might mind. not have worked. Because no. Louis brought up a great point where it's like, hey, it worked. Yeah. But you just don't know what else it's doing. <laughs> that's a so, huge problem. It's so, uh, You're also teaching your kid that hitting is how you get stuff. I mean, that's how, you know, that you listen to people who hit you. What kind of fucking yeah. life lesson is that? <laughs> well, if someone hits you, just listen to yeah, him. Just do whatever or he'll they said keep right hitting before. you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's bad in, in, in raising a kid, although I do think on like places where it should be yanked out, like if the kid's crying on a plane. Like if, he, like if he's not used to being oh, hit, and all of a sudden you're hammer fisting him. <laughs> 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 now, I think a, a, an attention-getting whack on the ass yeah, that is kind, kind of, of thing, an yeah. attention I mean, I wouldn't do it again. My, I mean, yeah. I can't imagine. Fucking the kids are so tiny. It's or just bizarre to me. Pick them up by the But arm. look, I don't believe in hitting my dog. I don't believe in it. But my dog once snapped at my daughter, and I fucking Ooh. laid her out. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't. I felt bad, and I don't think Did it you was get a right good <laughs> out of it? <laughs> it was pretty Oh, good. that's they get surprised when you hit them. I smacked her in the face. Hard. Yeah, I threw her outside. I dragged her outside, and as I closed the door on her, I gave her a fucking nasty whack in the face. Do you think the dog knew why? I don't. Snapping. I didn't. Didn't matter. Didn't even care. It was no. retribution. Yeah. It wasn't it was fucking rehabilitation. Fucking <laughs> yeah. Dog behaved after that, though, right? Uh, well, yeah, but with the dog, especially, actually hitting dog is, killed is, it. is a plain bad idea because they do get aggressive. They, and they get, don't. Yeah. It they get confuses snappy. them. Yeah. They don't because they don't hit each other. Dog. Yeah. Why don't we yeah. go to Jason and Wyoming? They, <laughs> well, they do look each other's assholes. It doesn't mean we should have to interact like they should. No, right, right, we no. should. Perhaps. If he doesn't yeah. bite the dog. When my dog him. was a puppy, I did bite her on the ear, which I heard you is a good. Like, I laid down flat on top of her and bit her on the, the ear. Did the alpha male thing? Yeah. Yeah. And it worked. She sat you know. pissed on it. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> pissed in her piss in its favorite corner. Yeah. <laughs> Showing who's boss. Yeah. Hey, uh, this has come in a couple times as well. Jason and Wyoming, here's another angle. Jason, go ahead. Yeah, you guys got me reminiscing about the God damn it if I gotta come in there. Yeah. But <laughs> my dad used to give me a tune up. If I was being good for an extended period of time, he'd whack me in the back of the head to remind me of what would happen if I was naughty. Wow. Yeah. This came yeah. in a few times. People yep. that they they were too good for too long and the father felt like they gotta hit him anyway. That's yep. a good one. Oh yeah, you gotta get a Just to keep them going, yeah. I guess. A no, I did all I think you tapped into something when you said that your father's laughing at, at laughing, yeah, and his wife is sneering at him. Oh, That's just why he's yelling at they you. They were, f of course, yeah, they were miserable. Yeah. No, there's nothing. That is the the oh. trait of a miserable marriage, and I've been there. That your wife does not want you to be, which is again why yeah. I stay at the Ritz on the road. <laughs> because, <laughs> like, if my wife calls me at work, like I'm at a, I'm working on a comedy show, right. And everybody's in my office, and we're laughing about something. And she calls on my phone, and she's, "Oh, what do you just sit around and laugh all day?" Yeah, is that what you're doing while I'm home with the kids? You're sitting there and laughing. She's angry. So Pete, when people call me on my phone at work when I'm on a show, I I have to go shh, like it's I'm smoking oh, pot. No, and my mom's don't, calling. Don't, no <laughs> fun in the air. Yeah, yeah, no. No, everybody fun. get out. Hi. No, we're just working really hard on the Oof. comedy. It's just miserable. I was I, I was married for uh, for nine years, and uh, Opie remembers. Um, I I would love doing the show, and then we used to carpool because we lived in the same uh, town. So he'd be driving me home, and like he could see the point where we, he'd make a corner, and like the fun and vibrant life I had would be sucked from my body. My shoulders went down. Show. Like we're talking, yeah, we'd be talking about that day's show and what we're going to do tomorrow and just our career and how excited we are about being in New York and, and, this, and then we'd turn a corner and my shoulders would slump. <laughs> my my jaw would kind of go down. My eyes would kind of get like uh -huh. down. And, and she'd be at the door kind of looking out the door uh -huh. and, and I, like I'd be walking toward the door and Opie would hear <laughs> some shit like, like, the garbage was supposed to be at the curb this morning, and, oh my God. and he'd drive away just, and I'm a beaten man. Yeah. Well, the vacuum cleaner is the story we always tell. I, oh, I, yeah, I, when he comes to pick me up. Anthony's not a morning person, and I used to pick him up around 10, 10 30, whatever. Yeah. But uh, the point of the story, Ant was awake maybe five minutes, because he, he would wake, 
get in the car and try to wake up, you know, for the ride. All psyched to come in because it's a it's fucking fun job. Sure. So I pulled up one day and there's like this huge argument going on on the stoop. And I'm oh. thinking to myself, I know he gets up real just in time to jump in the car. What mm. could he have possibly yeah. done wrong? He's yeah. been awake How long maybe did I have? minutes. <laughs> And she was yelling and screaming because he didn't vacuum before he left the house. Because vacuuming was my responsibility. radio show. Vacuuming was my responsibility. And another thing, as you brought it up, okay. there were a couple times I was ready to drop him back off at the house, and I would actually go, you, you want to go around the block? <laughs> you know, what, 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 what do you want to do? You don't want to go home. So I would, like, I would drive past the house just so he could get, uh, I don't know, oh, psyched get or ready just get for himself it. together. Oh, no, my wife, we over. had one of those ridiculous garbage arguments because she came in the kitchen and said, uh, how come the garbage isn't out in the bin? It's sitting on the kitchen floor. And I go, uh, the bin is full. And she goes, really? It's full? <laughs> and I'm like, I have to breathe to not get my... Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's full. And she goes, so even a bag wouldn't fit in there? And I'm like, why don't you go outside and look? Why don't you go look in the bin? And I'm saying it with like a tight smile. Why don't you go look in the bin? And she's like, why are you being shitty? I'm only asking you if it's full. No, you're not just wow. asking. You're asking three times regardless of my answer. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I've answered you. Yeah. You and asked so again it's like, and again. Yeah, and then so I start talking like that. Like, I'm going, you asked again and again, and I told you it was, and then she goes, look at you. <laughs> look at yourself. Look how you're talking. Uh, women are She's awful. like Perry Mason, <laughs> yeah. like trying to trip you up on your testimony, yes. and then finally you lost. Mm. You were the guy that went, all right, yes. all right, and see the temper, ladies it's, and gentlemen of the jury. Full. See, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Yeah, but here's how fucked up things are. The bin was not full, it was. and I am mad at her because how would she know I'm lying? Like I'm mad at her. <laughs> right. I'm mad. I'm indignant that she's calling me a liar simply because I know she has no she reason would have to had doubt to have me. Looked. But I, it was not full. Did she check the bin? What's that? Did she check? She it? would have I'm had to have looked lazy. into she the bin. Do anything? No, she didn't. She didn't look. She did not look. Then how did she know it wasn't full? No, she just, just doesn't she trust knew me. You're a liar. See, I'm angry that she doesn't trust me, even though the fact is I'm lying. <laughs> you shouldn't be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, hey, let's. Get, I love it. Let's get a hot story on the air here. It's Michelle in Jersey. Michelle, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. hey. I just wanted to relate to Anthony. Uh, my dad used to do the same thing. Like, me and my sister would share a room, and late at night, he would turn the TV down so he could hear us talk, and a bunch of little girls just chair shattered. So he would come with the belt and then beat us, and then he would, like, just say some things, like he'd beat us in syllables or what have you. Yeah. And, and we would have to laugh at him for what he tripped up on, and then he would hit us some more for that. It was ridiculous. It was relentless. You laughed? Yeah, he would laugh. Like, we had to laugh because he was tripping up. Like, he would say stuff that didn't make any sense. Because. Oh, because he was just why. doing it in <laughs> syllables and got all mixed up. Yeah, that exactly. syllable beating so, is the worst for for a kid. Cause exactly. he, you're just like, oh my god, where's he going with this story? How long is it gonna go? Like, where? How? When does this wrap up? Jesus. Oh. And it was teaching, you know, teaching us a lesson. Mm. Meanwhile, well, it was because he was miserable. A little bit and punch out, guys. They're all talking that. about the Dakota fan. Oh, yep. oh, now they got a little, uh, little clips of the movie. Oh boy, that looks well, like. Well, look how cute she is. Some critics are saying it wasn't graphic enough. <laughs> 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 Pedophiles are coming out saying. <laughs> DA says film crew did not commit from? a crime. Course, look at this guy. Oh, he looks like. He, I, investigate him. It's I, a clean-shaven I, Bill. He's a talk show host. I think he's from Air America. Ben Ferguson. Or Radio America. Is that different than Air America? Mer yeah. I think that's... Uh, oh my he God. looks like the conservative. Ben Ferguson Some tells me this guy was people... first online with a handful of tickets. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> these people are causing the problem because it's a movie about where there's a child rape, like we were saying, in the context of a story. Right. It's probably dealt with very you know, tastefully and yeah. like, it, it, artistically. It's supposed to be but hard. These people are removing it and just showing her picture and saying raped on camera raped. and just turning it into <laughs> they're things. distilling it down yeah. to an ugly thing and so that they're that kids are going to see kids aren't going to see that movie no cuz it's a piece of shit sundance art fuck right. artsy farsy <laughs> movie <laughs> <laughs> but they they are watching CNN over their parents shoulders seeing a little girl's face and it says rape and they show her when she's like 8 not that 12 yeah. is anything yeah. like that but no. at 12 or 13 years old that she is now is a lot different than the pictures they're showing yeah. her smiling with her missing teeth and yeah, like, yeah. rape. Yeah, what? Exactly. it's a movie. She's a fucking actress. Let's go to John in North Carolina. John, hey guys, hey, I got I got a priceless one on this. I swear to God, this is true, 
And before my father died, he admitted to my wife, so I had a witness that he did this. When I was a kid, he was too lazy to get up off the couch and spank me. So one day, he was a World War II buff, so one day he pulled off this book from the bookshelf, and he said, come here, boy, I want to show you something. And he opens it up, and he shows me Auschwitz and all the bodies and all the ovens and all this stuff, and explained to me what it was. And then he showed me all these kids and uh, they experimented on. And then he puts his face, and he says, this guy here, this his name is Heinrich Himmler, and he was the head Nazi that that was in charge of all this and he lives at at you know that german restaurant on on the main road oh we go God. to eat i said yeah he lives in that basement he said i got his number and anytime you're bad all i got to do is call him and Holy he will take you away shit. and put you there wow he, your father then threatened to send you to the nazis so that's what happened to, to himmler nazis. yeah oh my he, God. he yeah. ended up in a restaurant and how many <laughs> but the killer, but the killer like. part i'm sorry sorry to interrupt but the killer part is then they would take us to eat at this restaurant and wonder why they Great like schnitzel. Restaurant. What are you going to do? <laughs> I don't care if Heinrich Himmler's in the fucking basement. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking pigs meet are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we had Mengele's soup recipe. <laughs> Wait, John, what would you wonder when you were in the restaurant? I was freaking because I just knew he was... And my father would nudge me and go, Hey, boy, he's in the basement. You wow. best be good. And I would just uh, freak the hell out. John, how many, scared to pitch a fit. how many hookers have you strangled? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I quit doing that a couple of years ago when I got married. There you go. Yeah, I, I'm thing. okay now. Thanks, John, for Bye, the story. John. Let's go to Tom in New York. Tom? Morning. Hey. Uh, yeah, my uh, stepfather and his brother came from Europe in the 60s, and they had this real strict disciplinarian streak. And we were over their house one time uh, visiting my cousins, the youngest boy did something bad. All four kids had to drop their drawers and bend over the bathtub and get spanked with the belt like Anthony's father. Mm. And I'm 12 years old watching a 15, a 14, and a 13-year-old girl bent over the bathtub getting her ass spanked. Wow. That's hot. completely hot. That costs a lot of money now. Yep. You see that. <laughs> and you got to fly all the way to Thailand. Thailand. Yeah. And wow. sit next to John. Or is it Jeff? We don't know. <laughs> Which Either one. All right. This is getting depressing. The voices are changing on the phones. Yeah, everybody's kind of uh, like... Ri yeah, people are thinking about it too much. It was... Well, I remember it was 1973, and uh, it was an early morning. There was a mist in the backyard. Everyone's got these vivid memories now. We're supposed to be uh, having fun here for these it's people. It's like the way people describe 9-11. Yeah. It was a cold, crisp morning. I remember where I was. September. It was, uh, the sun was shining. The sky was so yeah. blue. It was unusually sunny. It was the last thing you expected. <laughs> Such a horrific day. <laughs> right. All right. Time for the line of the day. We got Ooh. three runner ups. Three runners up? Oh my God, I say, wow. I say runners up. I, it's runners like, it's up like is... brothers in law, brother in laws. It's... What is it though? Is it three it's, runners? I don't know. It should be runners up. I think. Yes. Nah. I don't know. But not enough. But then again, a, a runner up. A it's runner like up a is one thing. So runner ups. It's like pluralizing runner up. I... You're not pluralizing the up. You're pluralizing the runners. Runners. All right. Wait, like we're the whole fucking pro. Like I, attorneys general. Exactly. No, but it's different. I suck it. Dan pants down. You're being spanked. You fucked with Jimmy. Yes. I don't know if he's right or wrong. But you said it right. You said it. You but said now I'm thinking, up. like, but it's not like brother. Like, we, we sister. Get, if you have more than one sister in law. <laughs> yeah, I know. If you have more than one sister in law, it's not sister in laws, it's sisters in law. Yes. Now, runner, runner ups, your argument, then, is that you're pluralizing the ups. You're not. You it's one be. word. It's right. kind of runner up. Yeah, because. You're the runner up, so runner ups. Because you're not saying uh, one runner. And it's what? Uh, it's a runner up. I think runner ups is actually, I think I was actually correct. One right. is runner up. What are you Whatever. saying? It's not one word. It's two words. This looks official. Uh, runners up. I think it's runners up. Is, it uh, that, doesn't... is that Webster's? It was BBC. Not BBC. Oh, they they shit. stink. They Fucking don't even know how to keep their They say schedule, you ass. Exactly. <laughs> Shut up. And tomato. Dumb BBC. genocide. Every time I listen to BBC Radio, at some point, genocide. 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 <laughs> the the small African nation. Right. The genocide. Stupid genocide. Americans <laughs> getting us all in trouble. Votes, right? No. No? No? Then? Uh, according to dictionary.com, is that a reputable it's number? Yes. Runners uh, up. Yes. Runners up. All uh, right. I'm sorry. I'll suck your dick later. What the fuck do you want from me? Deal. Seems fair. Son of a bitch. Runners is always right. All right. Here's the first. Never go against Than. Nope. Here's the first runner up. Give a man a sandwich he eats for one day. Teach a man to fish for sandwich, and he'll starve because that's sure. impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Or poison the sandwich, and he'll never bug you again. <laughs> like that. Hey, that's a, that's that's funny. Team. That's a combo plot. I right? love the combo nice, plotters. Clean, funny line of the day. Yeah.
No cunts, uh, nothing. Yeah, I know, right? Clean. It was completely acceptable. Oh, that was funny. Wow. Nothing but cleverness. Uh, Bodogfight.com <laughs> sponsors line of the day. Here's another runner-up line of the day. I, I did. I don't even realize the kid is crying. I swear to God, like someone will go, "Why is that kid crying?" And I realize, oh, I'm fingering it. <laughs> <laughs> and the other end of the spectrum. There you go. Wow. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the filthy. I'm surprised Al didn't dump that. <laughs> Go to BodogFight.com. Got me for a second. Wait a minute. Where the fuck were we? <laughs> and check out what they're about, please. BodogFight.com. <laughs> the final runner-up line of the day. I got someone who needs me. <laughs> yeah. She's not white. No, 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 she's not no, white. No, only the whip can get a sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> Louis C.K. Uh, Lucky yeah. Louis on DVD. Uh, this coming Tuesday. January 30th. That's a goddamn good line. Yeah. Amazon.com. Yeah. Yeah. Only the whip can get a sound like that. <laughs> Jesus, that's the most brutal thing said today. That really is and it was horrid. Clean enough for fucking, for, for Ed Sullivan. Most brutal thing said today, and we went through an hour of beating stories <laughs> yeah, and right? a psychological effect. Yep. Hey guys, here's today's line of the day, courtesy of BodogFight.com. Here comes line of the day, line of the day, line of the day. Every movie that comes down the pike that that slams the Catholic Church, you like. There's no question about it. No, that's not also, true. No, that's not like true. And you also like... You don't know uh, what I like. Well, I, I certainly do. I know you like this movie. He likes no, men, you don't. Bill. I didn't see the movie, you, you, you blockhead. You <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. I got, I'm not even interested in it. <laughs> we see, see yeah, the day. blockhead line. <laughs> you blockhead? Yeah. You, 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 you blockhead? <laughs> you were wanting to call him a cunt so bad. <laughs> oh. Oh, did you? Yeah, I just I was so age. close to saying cunt, so he would hear it, and America wouldn't. But yeah. Wouldn't. yeah. What comes after blockhead? You just go, fat. <laughs> 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 All right. Louis, thank you so much. Oh. Thanks, guys. Of course, Unbelievable. Louis on DVD, coming Tuesday. I buy it. Maybe wait. they'll bring the show back if you buy it. Buy Please em. buy it. I cannot wait till you come on the show and bomb one day. <laughs> I just, I'm waiting for it. Uh, it will happen. Oh, my God. <laughs> and we'll enjoy it. Another one batting <laughs> a thousand, you <laughs> bastard. we're asses. Hey, failure is comedy. That's what it's about. Hey, uh... You'll be like... I, mean, I was sick today. I didn't feel good. Really sorry. I hope you I guys knew have I me was back. Off. I was off. Oh, they traveling virus. We mentioned that earlier. Yeah. Cleveland's bitching already. Because we didn't announce a Cleveland date. Oh, okay. And Buffalo's bitching. Buffalo should absolutely be included. Buffalo has... Yeah, they gave us great numbers, absolutely. man. Absolutely. Buffalo has a really interesting situation. They got that Darien Lake in between Rochester and Buffalo, and we're on in Rochester, too. It would be perfect. We do have to find out... It would be perfect. Wants and Warrants. <laughs> we have to find out if we're uh, wanted up there. Oh, for oh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, we went up there well, after could, that. Okay. We could stay in the state of Rochester as long as we don't go in the state, state of Rochester. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's the, the state, state of Buffalo. Buffalo they're Buffalo's two different not part state. of New York. It's no. its own state called Buffalo, and then yeah. and Rochester is a state as well. Okay. So as long as we stay on, uh, you know, before the border of Buffalo. That's true. We are in Rochester, and we are in Buffalo. Uh, I, we th we should do. Something we had like a party this. in Buffalo that made the um, wow the corporate. Rule book on how not to run an event. Let me tell you, how, <laughs> literally. Let me tell you how bad Sex for Sam was. We were supposed to get fired for this party we threw in Buffalo, yep. but they forgot all about that. There were wow. complaints yeah. sent wow. in to the FCC. This is all no bullshit. Complaints were sent in to the FCC for this Buffalo thing. It was never on the air. Wow. It was they a were live so appearance. Off, they still want to get us in trouble. It was a live wow. appearance that never insane. aired. So people got, were so pissed at what happened. We had wow. fucking strippers. It was supposed to be stripper volleyball on the mm. beach in Buffalo. We had strippers. It TNA started out all a. cute. TNA with a. They were batting the volleyball and stuff like that. Within moments, the alcohol started flowing. It ended yeah. up, we didn't close the beach off to the public. <laughs> oh, no. So, there were families, kind of not like right there, but mm -hmm. on the periphery were, were families. And the strippers, within minutes of doing a few shots, completely naked, shoving zucchini up each other's assholes Jesus on Christ. a public fucking beach. In front of kids. It oh. was classic. Oh, that's awesome. And fucking eating each other out. There are pictures of it on the web. You could pop it up day. now to this oh, day. Oh, my God. 69ing on the beach God. with like... A, a fucking kid looking on with Google, <laughs> googly eyed, 
one of the worst things we've ever oh. done. Oh, it's that's great. Most kids remember that, that it was a clear day on the beach. <laughs> yeah, it was 69 yeah, right. degrees. There is some kid a woman put a like, zucchini in her vagina in front Still of me. jerking off to that image oh. in his head. Forcing and, dead women to do it in his <laughs> bathtub. <laughs> and there were rumors they were trying to arrest us. I yeah, yeah. I don't know how true that is, to yeah, be honest. There was, but, uh, uh, well, right. the sheriff's department got involved because of the, the bar. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and indecency being shown during an event at the bar. And then the bar made believe that they didn't know us. Oh, they turned on us in right. a second. I, I sure. can't even tell you. They were, they were running up to us so excited. They never sold more beer. They're like, dudes, course. we're running they, out of beer. They, this is unbelievable. They couldn't keep the beer cold enough, so no. they were just serving warm beer. No one cared because sure. it was like they're the, the, you know, the beer in the basement that they were going to yeah, replace after we the, left. Their official statement, if we had known that anything like this <laughs> would have happened, <laughs> no. we hurrah. never, ever would have allowed yeah. this kind of thing. Oh, we apologize. Liquor to, license is the most oh, oh, precious yeah. thing in the world. Dude, fucking, they turned on oh, us so yeah. fast. <laughs> yeah. We're going to leave you. We'll leave you now with the sounds. We didn't forget. I oh. saw the sign. Pamela. Oh. The entire oh, song. The whole song? The entire song. Okay. So we leave uh, you. Now I got to stay with my headphones. I usually throw the headphones off and get the fuck out. Right. Now I got to listen. From our karaoke contest. Bye, guys. She this is so bad. Goodbye. And I, I, I saw the sign. 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 Uh, sign. Uh, Holy fuck. Uh, All right. We didn't leave. Look, I, I yeah. Leave? How can we leave? We couldn't leave or not comment after that. Oh, my, oh my God. God. That, that is gold. <laughs> yeah. Phenomenal. I'll tell you right now. o a Traveling Virus. She has to do that song in front of 10 live people. Oh, my God. Live. Yeah. Has to. There, the, the clip <laughs> that we've been listening to... Uh, is is great. That's gold, right? Th that. Well, is... that that was a real effort. She really got. Yeah. Into oh that. my God. Well, you got to remember too. She had no idea that it was going to become what it became. Right. A hit. A hit. Like I'm you ask musicians. Show. Like you know, you know, you ask, uh, uh, you know, the guys from Zeppelin. You ask them with Stairway when you were writing it and and recording right. it. Did, Did you, you know, know it was yeah. going to become this? That's how I feel about that song with yeah. her. No. Did you know it was just going to sweep the nation like this? Wow, the people cannot get enough. They want that fucking version. So good. That has to be emailed to me. I want that. When I get home, I want to open my email and have that to put in my iPod. That fucking rules. That's it's got to be, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I want to play that when my girlfriend and I are fucking. <laughs> She's like, we have to start listening to music when we're fucking. All right. See, the Sabbath of this. <laughs> That's a hell of a choice. <laughs> Damn. How about some enigma or something? <laughs> Jesus. Well, that there was, was something great. something else in there. Yeah, we'll get it right up immediately. Beautiful. All right, now, All right. We, now we can now get it. Now we're out of here. All, All right, right, pal talk. Bye. Later. Bye. Hey, guys, have a great day. Yeah.